Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Watching the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to for accurate, dependable weather forecasts 24 hours a day. This morning's weather is sponsored by 100% Colombian Coffee, the richest coffee in the world. And good morning. A check at the airports for you. Wouldn't be surprised to see quite a few delays today as it is a Friday. And sure enough, the weather is going to be horrendous across much of the east and once again into the western part of the country, especially uh, over the Rockies there. Even though the weather shouldn't be too bad at some of the surfaces there, there is going to be some upper-level wind shear to deal with, and that's always going to cause some problems. Chicago, St. Louis, Minneapolis, Pittsburgh looking good. And as we get through Dallas, Denver, and San Francisco this morning, it's still pretty early. So uh, obviously, the earlier the flights, uh, the better this morning. Current surface analysis shows a mess out there, rain all the way from Atlantic City and Millville, soon to be Scranton and Allentown, all the way down here into the southeast where we have a line of thunderstorms pushing across Georgia and northern Florida this morning. Some of these have been producing some uh, pretty gusty winds, and we do have a tornado box out still for a little sliver of Georgia and northern Florida for another hour or so. Back to the west, light drizzle, fog into Texas, just a miserable morning here. You're never going to clear out it before the next system moves on in and dumps some more heavy rain as we get down into Saturday. To the north of that, around Amarillo, we've got the uh, good old ice falling down, a little freezing drizzle here all the way out into Oklahoma, to the north of Oklahoma City, up through Hill City, Kansas. Once again, a miserable morning for freezing drizzle across parts of Kansas and northern Oklahoma here. But good news is the Arctic air is heading east at this point, and we should see a little bit of a warm-up into parts of uh, northern Oklahoma today. Cold front swinging through southern Arizona, some heavier rain in through here. Still snowing in the mountains right now, the heaviest snow falling right in this band here to the north of the L of the low pressure system. So Winnemucca, uh, Tonopah, Nevada getting the snow. And with weak low pressure coming down into the Pacific Northwest, it's snowing at Seattle and Portland this morning. Where it's not doing anything, it's cold as all get out. It's very cold this morning up in the Upper Plains. We'll show you some of those temperatures in just a minute. Some light snow stretching from the Miami Valley of Ohio, Detroit, a couple of inches on the ground and through here, through northeastern Ohio, Erie, Jamestown, Niagara Falls, Rochester, Syracuse, right up to Burlington and Montpelier. Then we get kind of a break in the action until we jump into Pennsylvania and just change directly on over to rain here. A little mix of rain and snow in uh, Covington, but other than that, this is all rain. The moderate rain you hit uh, all the way from Richmond, Virginia, Virginia, on south through Fayetteville and Fort Bragg. Through the south we go with a low pressure system here and the tropical rains and showers have been noted from Atlanta all the way on southward. The north of this uh, area has tapered off just a little bit to the south. It's still going strong and that's why we have this little sliver of a tornado watch to tell you about. Into the west, here's our low pressure coming inland with it some heavy snow to the north and west of it. Weaker low pressure in the Pacific Northwest, as I mentioned, so a little snow for you in Seattle and Portland today. Probably a couple of inches uh, by time things are said and done, but still, it doesn't take much to cause some slippery spots. Looks like a rain situation in New York with 39 degrees, but head up uh, west of Rockland County, and we're talking about snow there. 36 degrees as we take into Pittsburgh, 42 into Nashville, 18 degrees this morning as we take into Denver, and 30 below up at International Falls. And reason because of that, no wind. So no wind chill factor, at least, in International Falls. Stay tuned to the Weather Channel. We will have the complete forecast for you coming up, as well as a look at radars and the skiers forecast on the way. Buying 100% Colombian coffee can be tricky if you don't know what to look for. Because some coffee is only part Colombian. And some coffee isn't any part Colombian. So how can we be sure you're getting the richest coffee in the world? Always look for Juan Valdez. He'll 
only be on brands that are 100% Colombian coffee. The richest coffee in the world. Look for the symbol of Juan Valdez on these fine 100% Colombian coffee brands. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. The Good Morning Forecast is sponsored by Oxo Salt Inc., the leading producer of de-icing salt. And starting with this afternoon, well, we've got lots of things to talk about. Once again, a very busy map across the United States. We've got freezing rain, rain, snow, starting in the plains. Here we do have some freezing rain. And some of that is working its way into parts of uh, New England. What's going to happen, we'll have high pressure to the north of the Great Lakes. And some of that cold air is going to come rushing down. And it's going to bump into this uh, warmer, moist air. We're going to see some slick roads start to develop, possibly D.C. And even uh, north of New York City could start to see some icing later on uh, this evening and overnight tonight as the cool air works its way in. So we want to keep an eye on uh, parts of the northeast and also into the plains. But the good news is the plains will start to warm up slightly, so things will change over to all rain. We've got snow behind this system, and uh, some of it could accumulate to one or two inches across the plains. The rain continues in the southeast. Again, we're having problems with some heavier rainfalls. Even a tornado watch still issued for a sliver of uh, southern Georgia and northern Florida until 7 a.m. this morning. Next system moving on in from uh, the Pacific, and that's dropping a few uh, flurries around Seattle right now. And these systems will just continue. These impulses of low pressure will continue to slide on down, bringing potentials for more snow and rain. Folks in Arizona, you're talking about a flash flood watch once again this afternoon for most of the state as uh, we see uh, moisture continue to work its way into the region. Still some freezing rain and drizzle across the central portions. In the northeast today, we're looking at some snow across the northern part of New England, one to three inch accumulations there. And then we'll see the rain, some of it heavy at times, working its way into New York City. You're going to have a slick travels this morning. Might be a little bit slow in going to work early this morning. In half an inch to an inch of possibility in the area shaded in dark green. Temperature-wise, will be in the 30s, but look at those 20s coming on down, and that means some cooler conditions and possibly some ice. In the southeast this morning, we've got some thunder showers across the southern part of Georgia, northern Florida, so be careful there. Heavy rains once again. It looks like rains will start to taper off. We'll have a break in the action around Little Rock, even into Atlanta later on this afternoon. Well, we'll still have uh, heavier rains, half an inch to an inch of rain possible, and 50s and 60s across the southeast. Icy roads can be a problem even for professional drivers. To feel secure about winter driving, travel on the road the ice with salt. Halite, the same rock salt the pros use on highways. Tests show that salt reduces accidents by 88.3%. So when you drive, stay on the road, the ice will salt. Neither rain, nor snow, nor cold of night stops heat gas line antifreeze from preventing fuel line freeze-ups. Neither dirty injectors, nor knocks, nor pings can survive heat uptain. 
the only additive that turns regular gas into premium. Heat gas line antifreeze for sure winter starts. And heat uptain for year-round premium performance. Pour in the heat. And, of course, as we head into the weekend, that always means some snow and rain and nasty conditions. It always seems it works out that way. Starting with the jet stream, we can see we do have a storm in the west. This is a cutoff low because it kind of uh, makes its way by itself and splits off from the rest of the flow of the jet stream. And that's taking its time in coming on shore. And when it does, we're going to see some more heavy snows for the mountain areas. The subtropical jet continues to bring lots of moisture across the southern tier of the United States. Unfortunately, probably not going to see the sun until sometime next week across a good portion of the southeast. Back to the maps we go, looking ahead on to, into Saturday afternoon. Still remaining very cold in the north, rather mild across the south and into the uh, northern parts of Georgia over in the Tennessee Valley. We're talking about lots of clouds and rain, so things will continue to be relatively cool. Right on through Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the temperatures aren't going to be all that much to talk about. Basically, the main story is going to be the precipitation that's coming across the country with these storms. We're going to have a band of mixture of rain, freezing rain and drizzle for tomorrow morning, even uh, working its way into Maryland, Boston, uh, southern New Jersey. We could be talking about uh, some slick roads there. Rains continue across the southeast, and we'll have a band of snow that's going to stretch into the southern parts of Pennsylvania for Saturday. On into Sunday, the whole mess starts to work its way to the east, but we still have uh, that fine line between freezing uh, rain and snow. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. If you're concerned about your thinning hair, call Hair Club for Men and receive our free brochure. Learn how Hair Club's non-surgical polyfuse method gives you the freedom you've always wanted. Your new hair will look and feel like a part of you. I did not ask to lose my hair, and for a long period of time I thought that I would have no choice. And with the Hair Club, I do have that choice. I like that. No matter what sport or activity you enjoy, you'll feel secure and confident with your new hair. I was uncomfortable when I didn't have hair. Now that I have a full head of hair, people that haven't seen me in a while, they don't even know I had anything done. It's like totally natural to them. Now I can walk down the street and not worry about the person standing right behind me or standing on, you know, waiting at a traffic light and the people are piling up behind me and I think that everyone's looking down at the top of my head. So call for our free brochure to view our various hairstyles and receive information about Hair Club's non-surgical polyfuse method. And remember, I'm not only the Hair Club president, but I'm also a client. And good morning, skiers. It's time for your skiers forecast, which is sponsored by Lang USA and your local authorized ski boot dealer. Well, let's go ahead and look out down the road a piece here. Another storm system getting ready to come in for the weekend here. What about today? Looks like some heavy snow to pile up over parts of the southern and central Rockies here. It's going to be in the Cascades, three to five inches expected here. Be careful in the higher terrain. Gusty winds expected with some blowing and the drifting of the snow and possible blizzard-like conditions. Vail, Colorado, check it out. Seven new inches of snow. They got some more yesterday and more coming today. It's uh, all of these resorts just looking fantastic. Now we shift our emphasis of heavy snow into the interior Rockies. So we're looking at more snow today to pull all the way from Utah and on into Colorado, where we could be talking about a foot plus by tomorrow morning. Yes. All right, into the northwest, uh, actually the southwest or west, we're talking about the Sierra and the Cascades. Still, even though the energy has gone by with the system as it pulls into the interior, we still have that moist jet stream flow, which will keep the snowflakes flying not only on Saturday, but Sunday as well.
for ski conditions at over 400 other ski areas, call 1-900-WEATHER. Visit your local authorized Lang Ski Boot dealer. When Jeffrey catches a cold, we see the pediatrician. I love my pediatrician. He's my dad. He recommends Dimetap Elixir. Doctors have recommended the Dimetap brand over 200 million times. It relieves sneezing, nasal congestion, runny noses. And Jeffrey really likes the great taste. Doctors recommend Dimetap for their families and yours. Now get the great taste of Dimetap Elixir in new Dimetap chewable tablets. And good morning. Some problems in Charleston, South Carolina this morning. The harbor tide was running about a foot above normal. And this will give them a high tide of about seven feet. With more rain moving in, expect uh, numerous reports of some street flooding in the Charleston area. And you can see the rain that's heading in from the southwest, as well as a line of some thunderstorms here. Looks like a busy day for travel. 18 cities in their forecast coming up. Channel Connection, 1-900-WEATHER, before you hit the road, and you'll be prepared for any weather old man winter brings. You need to know how memory works. I wonder how often I should save the pages I'm working on. You'd like to know more about color graphics. You need to know how windows work. Are these windows going to change my original document? You'd like to know the difference between personal computers. For everything you need to know and would like to know about computers, there's Understanding Computers from Time Life Books. Call now to examine your first book, Computer Basics, free for 10 days. Keep it and pay just $14.99, then other books will follow. Cancel any time. You'll learn the terms they don't explain in computer magazines or manuals to make learning about computers easy, even if you've never used one before. Whatever you need or would like to know, Understanding Computers begins with Time Life Books. Call 1-800-247-7100 to examine Computer Basics free for 10 days. Keep it and pay just $14.99 plus shipping and handling. Other books will follow. Cancel anytime. Call now 1-800-247-7100. If you're about to travel, watch the five-day business planner here on the Weather Channel at 20 minutes after every hour. You get a comprehensive national report that covers the forecast over the next five days. Watch the five-day business planner coming up soon on the Weather Channel. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel.
doctors have learned from countless doctors and pharmacists nah. to take care of coughs with Robitussin. And they've taken this advice home. Nah. Robitussin recommended by Dr. Mom. Ask your doctor or pharmacist. Chapstick medicated, please. Introducing Chapstick Medicated, triple medicated. You can feel it working immediately. New Chapstick Medicated, triple medicated relief. These cars seem pretty much the same. But the more you get to know Chevy Lumina Euro, the more you realize you get more car for your money. Like a bigger standard engine, standard anti-lock brakes, air conditioning, and more room. Lumina even has a higher resale value than Taurus. More car for your money when you buy it, more money for your car when you sell it. What else would you expect from the heartbeat of America? Watch Private Lessons on the Weather Channel, sponsored by GEO, or read this month's Skiing Magazine. All right, it's time for the Traveler's Update here. Big mess of rain in the eastern part of the country. We're not forgetting about you either, Arizona, especially up in the northern part of the state, uh, just to the north of Phoenix there along I-17. We've had some problems with flooding and mudslides, and they've just had a tremendous amount of rain. Unfortunately, more coming today, and flash flood guidance says, hey, flash flooding uh, watch out for this state across much of the day today. As you can see across Georgia, South Carolina, into North Carolina, plenty of rain here, and all this is heading to the northeast. All of this up here is light snow, and that's where we expect it to stay today, but a different situation tomorrow. We'll get to that in just a moment. Tornado watch down to the south. There's been a few strong thunderstorms working through southern Georgia and northern Florida today, and we could see this line kind of hold its own or even redevelop potentially today. There's our flash flood watches out for Arizona, and of course, the snow. Enroll your class in the weather classroom. Learn about the weather and watch it as it happens. Just set your VCR to tape Monday through Friday at 1 o'clock a.m. Eastern. That's 10 the night before Pacific time for the weather classroom. Then watch the weather classroom whenever you can, at school or at home. Learn about the weather and see it in action. Monday through Friday, watch the weather classroom on the Weather Channel. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Good morning. Time for the five-day business planner, and we'll check it out for you here. Looks like a tricky forecast coming up to the northeast as we have a band of light snow and rain in through here today. This should stay mostly rain in the New York City area, but to the north and west of there, there will be a few wet snowflakes and possibly some sleet pellets today. But we'll watch this cold high pressure undercut this moisture here, and as it does, it should actually taper off the precipitation by this afternoon. But with low pressure redeveloping here and a strong southwesterly flow, in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. Here comes the moisture again riding up through Pennsylvania and to your New York City area by Saturday morning. And we expect snow to break out and through here, sleet, freezing rain further to the south. And this could be a very messy situation for travel during the day on Saturday and early Saturday evening. Not to mention we finally get a break for the southwest. But as we look offshore, there's another storm system getting ready to come on shore on Sunday. So busy pattern here coming up, folks, over the next five days. We don't see a lot of change. And I'll tell you right now, the temperatures will be the most insignificant thing out of all this, unless you are using them to forecast the rain or snow line, which the meteorologists will have to do for the entire week. We see the coldest air once again remaining up in the northern high plains states. And uh, we're talking about cold air, too. Signal numbers, teens, and below zero readings for high temperatures, that's it. 80s down into Florida looks very inviting, if you ask me. 
and I'm sure the folks uh, up in that part of the world are saying, hey, take me to Florida or take me to the Caribbean this time of the year because it's nice and warm down in this part of the world. Light rain and showers just hanging around through Saturday. Here's our forecast problem in the northeast. Snow streaks out too for Indianapolis and Columbus, Ohio. The west, late in the day, we should start to see our storm come on in mainly Saturday night, affecting this entire area again on Sunday. And this could be a, just a super soaker of rain. The tropical moisture with this next thing is going to be more intense than with the last one. So that's why we're obviously very concerned about the southwest. Ice continues in the northeast to be a problem here. The snow should change to freezing rain or even sleet, and then back to snow as the cold air comes in on Monday. But look, here comes the system from the west. It's got to get kicked northeast for Tuesday as another system gets ready to come into the west. It's kind of a tough call right now, but I think this will at least start off as snow or sleet in the northeast. If you're between 45 and 75, listen to this message about guaranteed life insurance for less than a dollar a day. Patty said Dad's funeral cost over $5,000? It was even more than that with all the other expenses. It's good Dad had that extra life insurance from the Mutual of Omaha companies. I don't know what I would have done. That's why Tom and I bought those guaranteed life policies. We didn't even have to take a physical. You can get guaranteed life insurance for less than a dollar a day. If you're 45 to 75, you can't be turned down or canceled. As you grow older, benefits won't decrease and rates will never increase. Don't wait. Call the Mutual of Omaha companies now, toll free to receive free information on guaranteed coverage. Review it in the privacy of your own home and there's no risk or obligation. Call 1-800-351-9800 now for your free information. That's 1-800-351-9800. That is 23 past the hour. Time to take a check at this morning's weather. Starting with the big satellite picture, there's lots to talk about. It's a messy day across the United States. If you're in the Northeast, uh, it's probably best just to stay in the house, uh, get a book, get some movies, and eat some popcorn because we're going to have some rain in the area, a break in the action this afternoon, then a possibility of a light dusting of snow. Some areas could see some freezing rain later on this evening. We've got lots of rain across the southeast. Notice the comma shape in the clouds indicating a strong uh, storm move through the area. We saw some wind damage across southern parts of Georgia earlier this morning, just a tad of a tornado watch in effect for the southern part of Georgia, northern uh, Florida. We'll take a look at that in just a few seconds. Notice things a little bit quieter in the west. Aside from Arizona, you're looking at some heavy rains again for this afternoon. Unfortunately, the rains continue across Arizona for most of the afternoon. A flash flood watch already in effect, or I should say still in effect. It seems you've been in the advisory for some time now. Freezing rain around Amarillo, Texas. We'll be dealing with some freezing rain and drizzle across the plains today. And there's our heavy storms across the southeast, still continuing some very heavy rains, unfortunately. We have a line of thunderstorms moving off the coast of the Carolinas, but still around Fayetteville. We're still seeing some rains significant around uh, Augusta, Georgia, as well. The rains continuing. Here's our look at our uh, heavier rains across Georgia right now, down throughout Tallahassee, Panama City. Still some heavy rains continuing. Here's a look at the watch area and see what we got going until about 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just a very tad of a storm or a tornado watch still uh, in effect for the area shaded in red. Taking a look at the airport delays at this time, Atlanta, if you're traveling to Atlanta this morning, looks like you're going to encounter a 35 minute delay. No problems for Boston, Newark, or Miami. Chicago, St. Louis, Minneapolis, Pittsburgh looking in fine shape there. You've got a 44 minute delay in Dallas if you're heading into Dallas this morning. 45 to 60 minute delay in Salt Lake City for this morning if you're doing some traveling. Taking a look at the big picture now, well, a big mess. We've got storms in the west continuing to move on in, one right after the other. A few fog uh, patches across California this morning, more widespread fog across Texas and over into the Gulf Coast states over in Louisiana. Here's our band of rain stretching all the way up to the north. We've got a light band of snow right now spread throughout the eastern Great Lakes around Buffalo, Syracuse. You're seeing some light snow at this hour, even down into Cleveland, Cincinnati, and over into Indianapolis, just some light snow. Then the freezing rain across the central plains, and that'll become a little bit more widespread this afternoon. Here's a closer look at the northeast right now, the big storm uh, moving off the coast, but we're going to see one right after another coming up the coast, bringing more and more rain. Southern uh, parts of New Jersey, you're looking at some rain at this hour as well. In the southeast, well, there's a uh, low pressure that was in, uh, triggering some of the showers and uh, bigger thunderstorms earlier this morning. In the west, 
just some freezing rain across the plains, things quieting down aside from Arizona. Temperature-wise, 34 in Albany right now. You head to the north, that's where you get in the cooler air, 29 in Rochester, 52 in Atlanta. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. TV, you try to watch only the best, right? But you don't always have time to see everything. That's what the Cable Ace Awards are all about. One show with all the best of cable. The best actor, the best actress, the best movie, the best special, the best comedy. One night, one show. One whole year's worth of cable's biggest stars. Watch Lily Tomlin host the awards for the best TV on television. The 14th Annual Cable Ace Awards. Live January 17th at 8 Eastern, exclusively on Lifetime. This is the Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to for accurate weather forecasts at your convenience 24 hours a day. And good morning, a very busy day on this Friday for you if you're traveling and it's up to you to pay attention to the local forecasts. If you're going through the Atlanta Hartsfield Airport, there's a great big, uh, I guess, bunch of TV screens there as you get off the plane and head toward the concourse and you can check out your local forecast there or perhaps the city that you're going to be transitioning to or maybe going to later on in the day. They'll have each local forecast there for several different uh, major hubs across the east. And that's one of the things that we've uh, done in cooperation with them down at Hartsfield Airport. But anyway, looks like a rainy day across the south, a tremendous amount of rainfall, especially for southern Georgia, northern Florida and southern South Carolina. Here could be about three inches and some localized flooding, not to mention some more thunderstorms developing and moving down toward the Tampa area. Cold air will change the rain over to perhaps a little sleet or snow before it ends, and then we will wait tonight as the next southwesterly flow develops and this next wave pulls to the northeast and then brings this precipitation back over the northeast. So as far as today is concerned, we're not too concerned about a freezing rain or sleet situation up in the northeast, but it'll be tonight and tomorrow. In the west, more precipitation streaking out into the plains here, and yes, we are concerned about a freezing rain and sleet situation here. They've got advisories out in the Texas panhandle. Across New England, a little light snow for the mountains and through here. This usually means about one to three inches. You will potentially see some sleet in the Catskills and some snow here. So places like Hunter Mountain, New York, ought to have uh, some fresh snow for you on Saturday morning. And as we take you down to the cities, looks like a pretty good rainmaker in through here, especially from about uh, Annapolis on down through Richmond and Roanoke into the southeast as we mentioned. So colder air working in today and you'll see temperatures actually begin to fall across this area and this is the cold air that will be working down even toward the DC area during the day tomorrow which could cause you some problems in the sleet and rain variety. We'll talk about that obviously a little bit later on. But a very, very heavy rain situation, not to mention this thunderstorms across Florida today as this first line is moving through. Very heavy rain and we're talking about one to three inches, then a break, but clouds and drizzle and boom, we're back into the rain and the freezing rain again in the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle. So there's just no ending here. We should see the precipitation taper off around Detroit and Cleveland and Indianapolis. And you may actually see a couple of glimpses of sun, believe it or not, but all of a sudden here come those mid to high level clouds and back into Kansas and Colorado, we're talking about snow and yes, even for Denver. Single numbers, teens and 20s, still cold in through here. Before you call anyone else in the world, call us, because now we have a new way to help you save on AT&T International Calls. Want to save 15% off AT&T International long distance prices with no sign up costs and no monthly fees? Try the new AT&T Special Country Plan. It's as easy as calling 1-800-992-2417. Pick the one international country you call most and save 15% anytime you call. The 
best time to call is now. If you call more than one country, we have another way that can help you save. For just one low $3 monthly fee, you can save an average of 20% on AT&T International Direct Dial calls with the AT&T Reach Out World Plan. Call 1-800-992-2417. Let us know how you call. We'll take care of the rest. Call now and find out how you could save on AT&T International calls. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. doing some traveling this morning we have lots of things to tell you about from sleet and freezing rain in the plains to rains in the east we'll talk about that in a few minutes but first of all let's take a look at some specific city forecasts nationwide someone here can somebody take the pain and make it disappear finally someone understands all pain is not the same what the hell where it hurts introducing new aspirin free bayer select what the hell where it hurts yes aspirin free what the hell where it hurts with bayer select bayer select not one but five different aspirin free products for five different kinds of pain sinus headache nighttime menstrual and arthritis pain because all pain is not the same what the hell Mothers have learned from countless doctors and pharmacists nah. to take care of coughs with Robitussin. And they've taken this advice home. Nah. Robitussin recommended by Dr. Mom. Ask your doctor or pharmacist. 35 minutes past the hour. Today's forecast looks like a mess across much of the nation. Midday for uh, today, we're looking at some freezing rain across the, the uh, Plain States. The area is you see shaded in orange around Joplin, Missouri. We have some freezing rain at this hour. And then some of that even works into the northern parts of Kentucky, inching its way to New England. That rain and will continue to stream up along this frontal system into New England for this afternoon. A slight break, and then we've got some snow across the eastern lakes. In the west, problems. For the folks in Arizona, we're talking about flash flood watches. Some areas already some flash flood warnings in effect for parts of Arizona. These storms just continue to work their way into the region. Snows keep on falling across the southwest mountains of Colorado. Temperature-wise this afternoon, things not too bad. We'll see 
cool readings as usual across the northern tier of the United States from Minnesota to Montana. Warmer conditions as you head to the south, 50s and 60s, even some 70s and 80s across parts of Florida. We'll take a look at this morning's weather next. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Waking Up Weather is sponsored by Mountain Girl and Folgers Coffee. Folgers, the best part of waking up. If you're waking up heading to the airports, you might have to have an extra cup of coffee in Atlanta. 35-minute delay there. No problems for Boston, Newark, or Miami. And the Midwest is looking pretty good from Chicago all the way uh, to Minneapolis, Pittsburgh region as well. In the uh, central part of the country, Dallas, you're looking at a 44-minute delay, 45 to an hour delay in Salt Lake City. Now let's look at the big satellite picture first of all to start us off. We can see we do have lots of moisture across the west. There's a slight break across the central part of the country and then in the east lots of rain up the eastern seaboard. We've had some strong thunderstorms moving through Georgia and Florida earlier this morning. The rains continue across a good majority of the eastern part of the country. Looks like there's really no break as far as <laughs> seeing any sunshine. It looks like you're out of luck at least for a while in the east. Big storm in the west spinning around, finally giving California a break, but as it moves inward, that means some problems for the folks in Arizona. In fact, some heavy rains on tap for Arizona today. Flash flood advisory is in effect. We've had problems with mudslides north of Phoenix along I-17. There are problems there as well. We've got freezing rain across the central part of the country from Garden City to Amarillo, Texas, and here's the rains in the east all the way up the eastern seaboard. Lots of problems there. We've got some stronger thunderstorms around Panama City. Here's uh, the motion of the satellite picture, or the radar, I should say. We can see how a line of thunderstorms kind of move their way throughout uh, central Georgia, even uh, causing some wind damage earlier this morning. Tornado watch in effect until 7 a.m. for the area that you see shaded in red. So a few more minutes on that tornado watch. Now back to the maps we go. We talk about some heavy rains in California, folks. And there was a lot of rain falling across parts of California. In in fact, uh, Mount Palomar, California, picked up over nine and a half inches of rain. And look at that. So we had uh, Los Angeles picking up four and a half inches of rain, Big Bear Lake, six uh, and a half. Now, this is uh, a little bit uh, more rain than they've seen in quite a while. And the rains continue across parts of Arizona as well. The big map looks like this. Fog across Texas have some problems across the central parts of Texas, along with the freezing rain. So take it a little bit easy this morning as you head to work. You can have, have to allow a little extra time. The cold air still entrenched across the northern tier of the United States. The folks in National Falls, 30, 32 below this morning. Awfully chilly up there. Bundle up if you're heading out the door. We have some light snow falling right now from Buffalo to Syracuse over into Erie, Pennsylvania. A light, light dusting of snow. Even the folks in Detroit picked up an inch, inch and a half of snow. The rains continue, though, across the southeast. Here's a closer look at the northeast right now. What's happening is we have these low pressure impulses that are moving up along this frontal system, dropping some rains, then you have a lull in the action, and then some more rain moving in. But what's going to happen in the northeast, you have some of that cold air filtering in. So there's a problem that we could see late tonight, tomorrow morning, with some freezing rain developing there. Here we go in the southeast. The rains continue with that stationary front low pressure center. And then in the west, we just have uh, one right after another as far as storms go moving into the area. And uh, there's another check at that rainfall amount for California. Temperature-wise, we've got 31 in Burlington, Vermont, 29 in Rochester. You head to the south, warmer, 39 degrees in New York City. 52 right now in Atlanta, 42 in Nashville. Very chilly across the northern tier. The new baby was up all night. Now you've got to make the morning right. Folgers always come through. It's decaffeinated, too. Folgers in your 
Coco. When Mountain Grown Folds is decaffeinated, it gives you something the other leading brand doesn't. Richer aroma to wake you up. Now you're off to a great start, cause Folgers warmed your heart. What a wonderful way to let the sun shine on your day. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Good morning. Time for the busy forecast. It's a Friday, and well, I wish you wish it was a Saturday, and I know I do. That's for sure. There's gonna be a lot of travel problems in the east, out in the Rockies, northwest, some snow in Seattle and Portland this morning. Mostly light, but enough to cause some travel snarls for you. Some freezing rain streaking out through the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, north of Oklahoma City, and of course our very heavy rain event shaping up for the southeast coast as well as into Arizona, which is occurring right now in both spots. So we just watched the same areas getting affected, affected this afternoon, and actually we're setting up for an even trickier forecast in the Northeast for Saturday. As this cold Canadian high pressure builds down in and undercuts the moisture, the next wave uh, of development here will bring more moisture over the top of this cold air. And the thinking is, well, gosh, uh, the cold air in place now means a whole different precipitation type. We're talking about freezing rain as well as sleet, emphasis on the sleet and of course snow as we head northwest of New York City. Now Philadelphia, you may get into the sleet and so may you in DC during the day on Saturday, but it should be a changeover too. And then we'll, so at that point, we'll see areas northwest of Philly and DC change on over to snow as well late Saturday. So some real changes up in this part of the world are going to occur over the next 24 to 60 hours. Light snow brushing across the mountain terrain of northeast, one to three inches expected here. Heavier rain south of Philadelphia down through Virginia and North Carolina, and temperatures will be cooling as we go through the day and that cold air works on in. A tremendously heavy rain event shaping up and through here. Let me show you the radar, and these are tropical rains, folks, which are just heading right into Georgia and right into northern Florida, and you'll notice no east-west movement here to the rain. So our thinking is, uh, yeah, how about about two to three inches of rain falling through here, especially down along the Florida panhandle. Little movement through Georgia, but again, the potential for this uh, to refire up and come back over the same area is high. So that's why we're really watching this area for some flash flooding. Let's go elsewhere and show you the temperatures. Yeah, nice and tropical to the south of all that, but of course we cool to the north and west, and we talked about the ice in Texas and Oklahoma. Not too bad in the plains. A lot of the mess will be clearing out of the corn belt here, so that's good news. So we're not going to see too much more going on there. Cold air hangs around in the upper Great Lakes. And with the upslope flow developing here in Colorado and Wyoming, light snow is expected to break out. Drixoral is. Sudafed isn't. Drixoral is. Contac isn't. 12-hour-long prescription strong Drixoral is the one cold medicine pharmacist have recommended most for 10 years. Take it from your pharmacist. Take Drixoral. Now on video, 45 minutes of fast tornado action, plus the 1993 tornado calendar, just 1995. Call 1-800-525-6600. Skiers, call 1-900-WEATHER for detailed regional ski forecast to help you choose when and where to ski. 95 cents a minute, 1-900-WEATHER. Homeowners, if you're looking for a lawnmower, stop. Don't buy any more until you've got all the facts in this informative free booklet exclusively from Troy Belt. Inside, you'll discover why awkward baggers are becoming obsolete and how Troy Built's advanced mulchers are ending clipping disposal problems forever. You'll also receive details on Troy Built's dedicated mulching design with an exclusive three-point mulching system, including a unique domed deck. 
specially designed mulching blade and Troy Built's easy to use infinite height adjustment, guaranteeing you perfect mowing performance every time. So please, don't buy another mower till you have all the facts on the Troy Built mulching mower. To get all the facts on the breakthrough Troy Built mulching mower, including your free Troy Built mulching mower catalog, call toll free 1 800 327 3500. That's 1 800 327 3500. Call today. You're watching the Weather Channel for accurate forecasts at your convenience. Weather you can always turn to. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. My glasses drive me crazy. They're always slipping at the wrong time. They never stay where I put them. You don't have to put up with glasses that don't fit anymore. Because at LensCrafters, we have so many ways to fit your snug points. With features like snug fit hinges that flex to keep their lasting fit. And your glasses will be ready in about an hour. How's that? Real secure. Finally, comfortable glasses that keep their fit. LensCrafters, better fit at competitive prices in about an hour. LensCrafters, call 1-800-522-LENS for the location near you. Icy roads can be a problem even for professional drivers. To feel secure about winter driving, travel on the road the ice with salt. Hay light, the same rock salt the pros use on highways. Tests show that salt reduces accidents by 88.3%. So when you drive, stay on the road, the ice with salt. And good morning. Our winter storm update is sponsored by Axo Salt Inc., the leading producer of de-icing salt. A busy, busy day on tap for you here, folks, as we look at many, many forecast problems. And again, I leave it up to you to not take anything etched in stone until we get right around the six to twelve hour forecast period here and that's uh, the way it's going to be that's how difficult it is to forecast what's going on here in the northeast we've got a couple of waves just kind of rippling toward the northeast and as they do they kind of send their moisture to the north and west of the L's here cold air building to the east and this is a pretty big high pressure it's 30 below this morning in international fall so obviously there's a bit of an arctic chill with this thing and as it heads toward the east and begins to undercut the precipitation here we're going to have to start getting concerned, especially tonight and tomorrow around New York and Pennsylvania. And then during the day, we should see that cold air drip down through Pennsylvania and even into the D.C. area by time tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night rolls around. So very, very tricky forecast here. Looks like today there will not be any frozen precipitation problems in the big cities. None. None whatsoever. We have the cold stuff and the snow back through Syracuse, Rochester, into northwest Ohio. Slippery this morning around Youngstown, Ohio also back here into the Miami Valley and then we just basically shut off until we hit more pockets of freezing drizzle and freezing rain across southern Kansas, Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle. Very heavy rain situations too. Arizona also into southern Georgia and North Carolina where we've had measurable rainfall overnight and more to come during the day. We have what's left of a tornado watch until 7 o'clock this morning for the Florida Panhandle and Georgia. A line of thunderstorms moving on through. Looks like the majority of the punch with this thing has weakened, so good news with that. The heavier rain out in California, they get a break today. Arizona gets no break. They've had seven inches of snow on the southern rim of the Grand Canyon in a two and a half hour period, so they're getting hammered right now out and through here. And of course, this will be a locally one to three inch band of rain 
which will head up through the Florida Panhandle and southern Georgia during the day today. And they may even issue uh, flash flood watches there. But right now, they are out for Arizona. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. And it's time for a check out the weekend, folks. It's going to be very cold if you live in the plains. Bundle up, sit by the fireplace. Ten below highs for tomorrow afternoon across uh, the northern tier around Glasgow, Montana. Very chilly. And then as you head to the south, well, of course, things improve over Florida. It seems like that's the only part of the nation that's going to be experiencing some nicer weather, 70s and 80s. Temperatures aren't going to change all that much over the next four to five days. We have the same pattern where storms come down in the west, kind of hit the Four Corners region, come out of the plains, then head to the northeast. That seems to be the pattern that we're experiencing. So temperatures are going to be probably insignificant across much of the next four to five days. Highs Mondays will warm up a tad across Minnesota and Dakotas, still very warm across the south. Here's our storm system for Saturday afternoon. As it moves from Arizona, gives you folks a tad of a break across Arizona. Then we start to move into the plains. A mixture of freezing precipitation moves in to New England on Saturday into Sunday. The whole mess moves to the east. New storm in the west, bringing snow to the plains on Monday. You know, all families catch colds, even doctors' families, like the O'Connors. For Mrs. O'Connor's cold, her husband recommends Dimetab. It's the brand recommended by doctors over 200 million times. Now there's something new, Dimetab liquid gels. Four-hour liquid gels are concentrated medicine that relieves congestion, sneezing, sniffling, really fast. It's easy to trust Dimetab. Doctors trust Dimetab for their families. Shouldn't you trust it for yours? Boy, this time of year, we Sears siding contractors spend a lot more of our days inside than we do outside at installations. That's because people just don't think of making home improvements in the winter. So to keep our crews busy, we're willing to make you a special offer. For a limited time, get special savings of 15%. That's right, you can save 15% on Sears premium vinyl siding if you call right now. Siding that we believe in so much that it comes with a manufacturer's lifetime warranty on all materials backed up by Sears. And you know Sears will always be there to back up this warranty. So call this toll-free number now for your free in-home estimate. A Sears representative will tell you about our convenient credit plan that translates into low monthly payments. Cash in on our limited time savings of 15%. Go ahead, give Sears a call. Call 1-800-247-7979 for your free in-home estimate. Save 15% during our wetter warehouse sale. That's 1-800-247-7979. And now it's time for the Michelin Driver's Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealers. Travel problems? Well, we'll focus on the Northeast for this afternoon as you head uh, into work, I should say, and back from work. We'll be talking about snowy travel from Houghton, Maine, all the way back in upstate New York. Then we've got an area of patchy freezing rain around the Catskills of uh, New York and over into the western hills of Connecticut. To the south of that, rainy travel across the area, and that rainy travel extends all the way down into Florida. Some problems with uh, southern Georgia, northern Florida today. We've, we had some wind damage and so forth with uh, the storms. Very heavy rains in Arizona. Cannot stress that enough. Flash flood watches and advisories in effect. As you move out of the plains for this afternoon, we kind of get in a hairy area here, shaded in pink, and that means some freezing precipitation in effect for that area. Amarillo, you'll be seeing some freezing precipitation already are. That'll extend all the way to around Joplin, Missouri. Snowy travel in the west. We've got the potential for some strong thunderstorms across Florida this afternoon, even to watch out until 7 a.m. For regional Michelin drivers' reports, call the Weather Channel Connection, 1-900-WEATHER. Blood and rain. Let it 
snow. You've got Michelin's new all-season MXB4. A luxury performance tire with a very special feature. Climate controlled. Michelin. Because so much is riding on your tires. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Watching the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to for accurate, dependable weather forecasts 24 hours a day. This morning's weather is sponsored by 100% Colombian Coffee, the richest coffee in the world. Good morning, everyone. It's two before the hour. It's a Friday, the 8th of January. I'm Bruce Edwards. Thanks for joining us. All set to look at the current situation. Here it is, and there they are. The delays in Atlanta at Hartsfield Airport. What else is new? Ranging to 35 minutes, but there are low clouds and there are rain showers around, so it's not surprising. What's a bit more surprising is no other delays along the eastern seaboard reported so far this morning because there is widespread rain. We'll show you that in a minute. First, let's check the satellite, and it sort of gives us a look at the wet weather that we have. Clouds shroud the eastern seaboard. Look at these uh, the heavier thunderstorms rumbling across northern Florida and the southern Georgia as the moisture feeds in from uh, the Gulf of Mexico. A bit of a break in the action here, although there's occasional light rain and drizzle, but nothing too ominous. And then we see this big batch of moisture sweeping through the west, and that's bringing some pretty significant rains into Arizona, so much so that flash flood warnings posted for a good chunk of Arizona because of the locally heavy rains. Upper low swirling about here, swinging one band of moisture into central California. But by and large, today is the respite day for Southern California. Here's a look at the Northeast. Uh, no respite here, a little light snow uh, dusting the eastern Great Lakes, uh, working from the St. Lawrence Valley back across well, just about all of Ohio. Down around Cincinnati, it's sort of a rain-snow mix, but the rest of the Buckeye State is white. Erie has snow, Pittsburgh snow, Buffalo, Rochester moderate snow this hour, and up towards the Adirondacks and uh, the Green Mountains of Vermont. While we work to the south and from Atlantic City to Philadelphia and points south, pretty much a good solid shield of rain here extending back through much of West Virginia and crosses the river, as we mentioned, towards Ohio, and then south of that into Kentucky and Tennessee, quite a bit of wet weather. Bridgeport, Connecticut, reporting a rain shower during the last hour. The temperature is not too terribly bad in any location, although at Sault Ste. Marie, it's a little nippy at 8 degrees. You can see the 20s into the lakes and 30s and 40s towards the coast. Not bad for this time of year. A record high was established in Key West yesterday, at least equaled at 85 degrees, and it's balmy in Florida this morning. We see reading 71 in Jacksonville, 72 Tampa, 73 in Miami. What is this, June or what? It is mild indeed. 52 in Atlanta, closer to the normal high than it is to the normal low. So temperatures are not a problem. It's the wet weather, and there's plenty of that. Had the stalled front, the southern branch of the jet bringing moisture and a little ripple of low pressure stirring things up. So much of Virginia, Lynchburg over to Norfolk, Newport News, Charlottesville from the nation's capital on south towards uh, Columbia and Charleston, South Carolina, sweeping on through Albany, Georgia, some thunderstorms there around Tallahassee and Panama City. And then lighter rains, light scattered precipitation here, some drizzle around Texarkana, but you get up to Joplin, Missouri, some freezing rain and drizzle up towards Enid and Gage, Oklahoma, mixing it with some snow, freezing rain around Amarillo, Texas, some snow around St. Louis, and lots of fog and drizzle across uh, the hill country of Texas. The quietest spot in the country is the Upper Plain states, but it's also by far and away the coldest, as we have temperature of 30 below zero down at International Falls, 15 below in Duluth. It's 19 in Chicago, 31 in snowing in the best location in the nation, Cleveland, Ohio. Volatile weather through much of Arizona, widespread rain into New Mexico, things quieting down in Southern California, but still some rain in Central California this morning, and snow over much of Washington and Oregon, including the Seattle Tacoma area, all reporting some light snow. There's your big picture, soggy east, south, and much of the west.
More and more people are waking up to Juan Valdez and his 100% Colombian coffee. And so can you. Buenos dias. Just look for Juan on the label when you're shopping. You can't miss him. 100% Colombian coffee. The richest coffee in the world. Look for the symbol of Juan Valdez on these fine 100% Colombian coffee brands. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. The Good Morning Forecast is sponsored by Quaker Instant Oatmeal for moms who have a lot of love but not a lot of time. Let's check it out. Midday Friday, the weather map shows an abundance of unsettled weather across the nation today. We have some rain in the east. We have snow, freezing rain and drizzle, and rain in the midsection of the country. We have rain and snow in the west. However, for those of you in Southern California, uh, finally a break in the weather today as uh, the storm system moves east and you finally see a little sunshine. However, there's more moisture on the way. In fact, as you'll see later on in the hour, on the satellite view, another surge of tropical moisture out there about halfway between Hawaii and California, uh, headed for the central and southern part of the state. Uh, otherwise, today, cold Arctic high pressure over the northern plains and upper lakes, so dry weather but very cold conditions. International Falls this morning, uh, uh, for instance, is 30 degrees below zero. So a very cold start to this Friday in uh, northern Minnesota and many other places in the northern plains. How about the northeast forecast wise today? Well, we are expecting that band of snow, which is in uh, northern uh, Pennsylvania and uh, western and central New York to spread into New England later on. Light snow amounts, one to two, maybe three inches of accumulation in some of the higher terrain. Uh, basically very, very light. Places like uh, Concord, uh, New Hampshire, Albany, Glens Falls should get some snow today. Westward to uh, Syracuse, Utica, Rome, and Buffalo, places that are already seeing a little snow right now. Farther to the south, rain, and rains could be heavy uh, down through uh, the Delmarva Peninsula, tidewater of Virginia. And by the way, later today and tonight, cold air will be filtering in. So places that are getting the plain rain and temperatures above freezing today may have icy conditions, freezing rain, sleet, and snow develop uh, tonight. In the southeast, rain locally heavy. In fact, actually a widespread area where an inch or more of rain could fall. A little break in the rain back here, but it'll stay kind of cloudy, cool, and drizzly in Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas through the day with highs in the 30s and 40s. Check out those 70s and 80s for the southern half of Florida. Here in the Great Lakes, lots of sun for the upper Mississippi Valley. That'll be the case too, but snow and mixed precipitation working out into the plains. Places like Kansas City, a little snow, Denver as well. Far the north in the drier air, very cold with highs below zero in parts of North Dakota and Minnesota. Okay, he'll be ready at eight. Thanks, Mom. Most moms don't have a lot of time in the morning, but all it takes is 90 seconds to make them instant Quaker oatmeal instead of cold cereal. Instant Quaker oatmeal. Thanks, Mom. For moms who have a lot of love, but not a lot of time. Nobody can do fish like we do. Nobody can do chicken like we do. Nobody can do shrimp like we do. Who, who? You're gonna get your wish. Go fish. 
go fish with Long John Silvers, where America goes for fish. Now for sinus sufferers, the makers of full prescription strength, ActiFed, introduce new ActiFed Sinus, daytime, nighttime. The only sinus relief system that makes it simple to treat sinus pain right, day and night. The daytime formula breaks up sinus congestion so you can breathe without making you drowsy. The nighttime formula is maximum strength so you can rest. Your sinus is better? Oh, yeah. New ActiFed Sinus, daytime, nighttime. Treat sinus pain right, day and night. Well, in a nutshell, the best way I can think of putting it, the uh, best thing to do this weekend, it's going to be a great weekend for watching football, uh, NFL football, or getting a start on those income taxes because it's going to be awfully messy over most of the country. There's your upper low spinning about, and that's going to just shoot these little storm systems across the, uh, the region, and the southern branch of the jet provides a lot of moisture, and that trend continues through Monday with that trough in the west, and the southern branch very active. Now, here's a look at the uh, precipitate or the temperature uh, profile. Still warm 80s in South Florida. That's a constant. Another shot of Arctic air into the plain states, but that will modify a bit. Temperatures will remain fairly seasonable over most of the country with no great shifts, although Monday we do see temperatures starting to warm just a bit over the south and the mid-Atlantic states. Now the precipitation southern branch of the jet provides the moisture and those storm systems ejecting out of California sweeping across the Gulf and working to the mid-Atlantic. Rain and thunder over the southern half of the country. Transition zone here. That's where you get to the ice and then a band of snow with the cold Arctic air to the north and that moisture flowing in. We're going to see that snow persist. Now Sunday, one impulse works towards the mid-Atlantic states. The next one rings around California, heads south. Very, very soggy weather Sunday once again across the southwest. And look at Monday. Except for the northwest corner of the country and portions of the Central Lakes, it's going to be a mess with rain, thunder, ice, and snow. You name it, we've got it. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. There's a tornado coming to your video library. Now, a new title from the Weather Channel that you can own on video, The Enemy Wind. 45 minutes of tornado action and two thrilling stories. First, follow the exploits of a fearless storm chaser and photographer as he documents the fury of the storm. Then, the Weather Channel production that takes you inside the destructive force of a tornado, The Enemy Wind the storm is forecast in the tale of one tornado town. Plus, at no extra charge, the Weather Channel 1993 tornado calendar. 13 dramatic photos and dozens of amazing tornado tales. Call 1-800-525-6600 now, and you can own the enemy wind and the 1993 tornado calendar, all for just $19.95. Call 1-800-525-6600 now and charge by phone, or send check or money order to the address on the screen. Call now. Ski Year's forecast is sponsored by Sunday River, rated the number one ski resort in the east. Let's check it out. Here's a satellite picture. Lots of clouds moving uh, through the eastern half of the nation this morning. Many of the clouds producing rain through, uh, well, the mid-Atlantic region southward. We've had some snow during the night in the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes and some light snow headed for Pennsylvania, New York and New England today, adding one to three inches to the ski slopes. So conditions are Looking good this morning. Loose granular right now at Okemo Mountain in Vermont. Sunday River is reported a, reporting a groomed surface, 20 to 50 inch base, 53 trails in operation. At Waterville Valley, loose granular, the same at Sugarloaf, USA, in Maine, up to a 54 inch base there. Well, 
Um, the conditions are looking good at uh, Okemo in uh, Vermont, as we mentioned. At any rate, the forecast for today through early morning hours on Saturday, a little bit of light snow, one to three inches expected throughout Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, and Massachusetts. Now tomorrow, the drier air moves in during the afternoon. It'll be cold and the snowmaking conditions will be excellent through this uh, area, New England tomorrow and into the day on Sunday with the cold and dry conditions continuing. For ski conditions at over 400 other ski areas, call 1-900-WEATHER. This ski season, it's the same game, but there's a new rule. You absolutely, positively gotta ski Sunday River. For snow, for terrain, it's number one in the east. For snowmaking, for lifts, it's number one in North America. Same game, new rule. Gotta ski Sunday River. To book your Sunday River ski vacation, call 1 800 543 to ski. <coughs> if you've been hiding from nighttime cold medicines. No, not that! <coughs> there's a medicine you'll like. This is different, dear. Robitussin Night Relief. It relieves your sneezing, sniffling, aches, and coughs without alcohol, unlike that other nighttime gold medicine which has 25% alcohol. Thanks. It's the kind of relief you'd expect from Robitussin. New Robitussin Night Relief. Sleep tight. Nighttime cold medicine from a name you trust. 13 now past the hour. Good morning, everyone. Rick updates travel headaches, and there are plenty of them due to ice, snow, and rain across the country. That's coming up in just a couple of minutes. But right now, for those going long distance, here's the business travel forecast. Call 1-900-WEATHER for slope conditions at over 400 ski areas worldwide. 95 cents a minute. That's 1-900-WEATHER. Peeling potatoes and onions is one of the least appealing jobs in your kitchen, but not anymore. Introducing Speed Peeler, the incredible cordless peeler that peels with electric power. Look, we're peeling these potatoes with a flimsy old-fashioned peeler. What a waste of time. But now look, Speed Peeler peels the potatoes twice as fast, and it even removes potato eyes. Speed Peeler peels off only the skin, so there's never any waste of your vegetables or your money. It's sturdy enough to trim asparagus and broccoli, yet safe and sure enough to peel a ripe tomato without peeling your fingers. But that's not all. Speed Peeler shaves chocolate, grates fresh cheese, shreds cabbage, slices strawberries, mushrooms, and radishes. Why, it even makes all these potato chips from just one potato. And when you're done, just rinse it clean or place in your dishwasher. Now, here's the best part. Speed Peeler is only $19.95 in the special TV offer. Order now and receive the Stay Sharp Super Knife, a $10 value absolutely free. Call now to order. If you're about to travel, watch the five-day business planner here on the Weather Channel at 20 minutes after every hour. You get a comprehensive national report that covers the forecast over the next five days. Watch the five-day business planner coming up soon on the Weather Channel. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel.
now for sinus sufferers. The makers of full prescription strength, ActiFed, introduce new ActiFed Sinus, daytime, nighttime. The only sinus relief system that makes it simple to treat sinus pain right, day and night. The daytime formula breaks up sinus congestion so you can breathe without making you drowsy. The nighttime formula is maximum strength so you can rest. Your sinus is better? Oh, yeah. New ActiFed Sinus, daytime, nighttime. Treat sinus pain right, day and night. On a night like this, there is only one way to warm up. Celestial Seasonings Mandarin Orange Spice Tea. I can't believe they did it, but they did it. They made it taste even better. Celestial's packed more natural herbs and spices in every tea bag, so you get more flavor out of the tea. Every sip is a celestial experience. Celestial Seasonings Herb Teas. Nature makes the taste. Celestial makes the tea. Let it snow. Well, weather may affect your travels today, whether you're hitting the highways or going by, uh, going by air out of uh, one of the eastern airports. We do have some delays to tell you about, and we'll fill you in at about 24 minutes past the hour in terms of how the airports are shaping up this morning. In terms of the radar, here's a look and check out all the rain in the east. We do have some snow, too, at the north end up through Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and New England. A mix of snow, sleet, and freezing rain through the nation's midsection. Rain and some of it quite heavy out through the southwest. In fact, there's a flood watch in effect for Arizona. And within that flood watch, there are flat, uh, flood warnings in effect for several counties, especially uh, below the rim where the streams and rivers are, are running quite high this morning because of heavy rains. When Wintery travel in the west. This is where you'll find snowy roads. You'll find icy conditions, panhandle of Texas out into Oklahoma, and the light snows in the northeast. Chance of severe thunderstorms here, maybe a strong storm or two in southern Arizona, and the winds will be a little gusty in the west in a few spots. Now, from the Weather Channel, the enemy wind. 45 minutes of tornado action. Watch as a daring storm chaser goes for up-close pictures. Then see the enemy wind, the Weather Channel documentary on nature's destructive force. Plus, the 1993 tornado calendar. 13 dramatic photos and tales of tornado oddities. Call 1-800-525-6600 to own the enemy wind. And the tornado calendar, all for just $19.95. Call now and charge by phone or send check or money order to the address on the screen. Call now. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. It's on 20 past the hour. Time for the five-day business planner. And as I look at the weather maps for the next five days, I feel like the meteorologist that gave Noah his forecast. I mean, it's looking wet, wet, and wetter over much of the west and south. We have the southern branch of the jet, which, of course, is not reflected on the surface map, just bringing that southwest flow and the moisture on it. It's been very, very active, unlike most winters when it gets fairly dry in the south. Not this time. And the ripple of low pressure along the front will stir up the rain, push it to the mid-Atlantic. And with the big, strong upper-level low pressure system, it's just pushing these little lows. See this? Just lining up one, two, three, one after the other, strafing through the west and riding to the south, and that's going to keep the unsettled weather here. And now with a cold area of high pressure in the Arctic high to the north, as that cold air seeps down and we get that moisture riding in, that's when we start to see the rain change to ice and to snow, and it gets rather treacherous in the midsection. Really the quietest area of the country will be into the Great Lakes in the upper Mississippi Valley, but that's where it will be the coldest as well. High temperatures today will be nippy in the north, but uh, warm in the south, down into Florida. Fairly typical uh, for this time of year elsewhere across the country. Now tomorrow morning, another intrusion of that Arctic air. We'll see uh, lows dropping to the 20 to 25 below range, sub-zero down into the mountains of Colorado. And still pretty mild in Florida, 
while temperatures tomorrow afternoon will be much colder than northern plains. Again, we can see that intrusion of that cold Arctic air to the uh, north, and then still some 80s hanging on across South Florida, and that's not going to change much. And really, the overall pattern of temperatures doesn't change until Monday when things start to modify a little bit across the south and the southeast as milder air moves in with that southwesterly flow. Once again, storm system moving through the south and the mid-Atlantic, so we're going to have rain and then some ice Saturday and snow into Pittsburgh for the playoff football game and some passing showers in San Francisco for the NFL game tomorrow. More rain destined late in the day for Southern California. That will persist on into Sunday. While well, Sunday scattered rain in Miami for some football games, while Dallas will have to dodge a few showers through that half-opened roof uh, of uh, Arlington Stadium, and then we'll see the ice and snow in the Great Lakes. This batch moves on out, but the next one takes its place on Monday. So uh, once again, the southern half of the nation soggy, the midsection icy, especially from Kansas into Missouri with the freezing rain, mixed in with some rain and then some snow to the north of that from Colorado on into the upper Mississippi Valley. And then you can see that next low heading in this direction, dragging the cold front, pushing the rain out ahead of it. Page 355. Medications that can rob you of your sex life. Page 141. The secret ingredient in Italian foods that can help lower cholesterol. Page 545. How to silence a snorer. This incredible book belongs in every home. The doctor's book of home remedies from the editors of Prevention Magazine Health Book. Over 670 pages of astonishing home remedies, all scientifically proven. Yours free for three full weeks. Page 341. Why you should never buy color toilet paper. Now the information you need to cure over 130 common health problems is always on hand. Act now and you'll also get this fabulous book, Meals That Heal, free. Page 497. Use oatmeal to end the itch of poison ivy. Page 570. Call now to get the doctor's book of home remedies free for three weeks. Keep it and we'll bill you in four easy installments of only $6.99. Call now, 1-800-632-4500. 24 past the hour. Thanks for tuning in to the Weather Channel this morning. Rick Griffin and Bruce Edwards with you for the next uh, 45 minutes or so. Let's check on the current weather. We'll begin with the airport reports. How are things shaping up? Boston's in good shape, how about that? So Newark's doing okay. Atlanta, however, reporting 35 minute delays due to traffic, lots of aircraft going out to the end of the runway and some rain and fog. Looking good at Chicago's O'Hare, Minneapolis and at Pittsburgh and out west. Well, we have delays at Dallas, uh, Salt Lake City, snow and fog. That is causing delays up to about 60 minutes. Los Angeles is looking good right now, mainly because the weather's cleared, but yesterday it was rain, rain, and more rain over Southern California. In fact, um, well, up almost to 10 inches of rain have fallen in the mountains surrounding LA and San Diego over the past couple of days. And of course, there's been just a little too much rain with some flooding and uh, mudslides and that sort of stuff over Southern California. Just, well, to give you an example, just take a look at some of these rain totals. Mount Palomar, which is northeast of San Diego's, had nine and a half inches of rain the last couple of days, eight and a half inches at Mount Wilson, which is northeast of Los Angeles. Even Big Bear Lake, which is one of the resorts up at 7,000 feet in the San Bernardino Mountains, has had rain, 6.76 since the storm started and more rain is on the way. However, today, as we look at the weather map, the front is pushed on through Southern Cali California. Rain's come to an end for the time being, but there is more moisture offshore, and that'll be heading inland beginning tomorrow. And uh, as we get into late in the weekend and early next week, more heavy rain and snow a possibility. In the northeast this morning, light snow stretching from Ohio up into western and central New York into northern Vermont. To the south, it's rain, raining steadily from Philadelphia and Harrisburg, south of the nation's capital, all the way down through the Carolinas and into Georgia. And in addition to that, we've had some pretty good thunderstorms just in advance of this cold front over Georgia and over the panhandle sections of the state of Florida. West of the front, the rain, the steady rain stopped, but then you run into the clouds, the mist, and the drizzle through Alabama. Alabama, Mississippi into Texas, and then as temperatures drop below freezing, we have freezing rain and drizzle across portions of the Texas Panhandle into northern Oklahoma and southern Kansas. A little light snow right now around Scotts Bluff. Denver reporting some light snow in the vicinity. 
Over the northern plains, it's mostly fair, but it's very cold through this area to the tune of 20 to 30 below zero across northern Minnesota and North Dakota. Out to the west, light snows. Salt Lake City, Boise, a few flurries and a couple of flurries in the air at Seattle and Portland. While to the south, it's rain and heavy rain now at Phoenix. Rain falling up to Flagstaff in the mountains of northern Arizona. But the Grand Canyon, South Rim, reported seven inches of snow just in the past three hours. At Phoenix, it's a mild 60, 38. At Medford, Oregon, to the east, we find 18. At Chicago, 52 degrees in Atlanta. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. It's the 1993 Weather Guide calendar with phenomenal weather events from the Weather Channel. It's filled with interesting weather facts, stunning color photographs of dramatic weather, weather folklore, climatic data for cities in the U.S. and around the globe, as well as informative articles on environmental issues and historic weather events. This new Weather Guide calendar is available now for only $9.95 each plus $3 shipping and handling. To order by credit card, call 1-800-845-8711 or send check or money order to Weather Calendars, 1407 Larimer Street, number 206, Denver, Colorado, 80202. You're watching the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to for accurate, dependable weather forecasts 24 hours a day. Top of the morning, everyone. 29 past the hour. TGIF, it's a Friday, and we've got your forecast coming into focus at midday. And it's just the same soggy scenario. Stormy weather in the west as the upper low is just spinning out these little pieces of energy, these little low pressure systems ripping through the west, bringing us spats of rain and snow. And as the moisture rides into the colder air of the plains, some snow and ice, more wet weather over the south and the southeast. Uh, a bit of a rest, but there'll be scattered showers into the southern Mississippi Valley, a little more widespread than before with the rain significantly stronger across the Carolinas as that low moves through. But uh, the gravy train of moisture is not going to end anytime soon. Out of the northeast, we're seeing that light snow dusting the eastern lakes in northern New England, an inch or so possible here, and the rain will be marching up the Atlantic coast. Right now, it's moving up through Atlantic City and eventually through southern New England, producing a half an inch to an inch of rain. A little heavier, though, you get down towards the Hampton Roads, Newport News, and uh, Norfolk, Virginia, about an inch or so from there to the south. And once again, about an inch to three inches of snow, closer to the one inch than it is to the three inches of snow with temperatures in the north uh, and the mountains uh, 10 teens and 20s 30s through much of central new england while across southern jersey and on into virginia will be 40s here and over into the ohio river valley the south once again one area of low pressure ripples along the front and that will instigate some fairly heavy rains to the carolinas into north florida there will be clouds and some intermittent light rain across the lower mississippi valley in east texas a little more concentrated as you head into west texas a tenth to a half an inch of rain here but we're getting some ice in the panhandle up in oklahoma so it's becoming a bit treacherous for traveling. While to the east, the rains at times will be locally heavy, producing an inch or more from North Florida into the Carolinas, with temperatures that go on the peninsula, 70s and 80s, still warm. More scattered nature of the showers and storms across South Florida. And we get that cold air diving south into East Texas. And once you get into the freezing mark, that's where we're talking about some ice mixing in with some rain and snows to the north. And that will be the threat through Kansas, Oklahoma, through the course of the day, with snow spilling out in the western plains. Up Partly sunny day across the upper Mississippi Valley and the Great Lakes. Very quiet, very comfortable thanks to that high pressure, but also on the cold side. Now, once again, near the foothills of the Rockies, about three to six inches of snow, an inch or so spilling out, but once again, mixed with some freezing drizzles across Kansas and Oklahoma into Missouri. So be careful out there. While through the Ohio Valley, the light rain about a tenth of an inch or so with temperatures on the cold side. The following is for veterans, their spouses and widows, age 50 to 75. Uh, lottery tickets. We never missed a week. 
husband and I knew the odds were ridiculous, but it's only a couple of bucks, and it was fun. Then Ron died six months ago, and I found out we didn't have enough life insurance. I owed almost $6,000. Turns out we could have easily afforded extra life insurance for the price of a couple of these. Veterans Life Insurance Company announces term life insurance for as little as $1 a week, just for veterans, their spouses, and widows age 50 to 75. Call this toll-free number for free information. There's no medical exam, no waiting period, and your benefits never go down. I have my own policy now for Veterans Life, so someday my kids won't have to go through what I just did. Call 1-800-533-9800 now for free information about dollar-a-week veterans' life insurance. Operators are standing by. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. The Business Travel Forecast is sponsored by Kinko's, your branch office. Yeah, my plane was three hours late last night. Late? Uh, what about our presentation? I'm all set. But we made changes after you left. Yeah, Jim faxed them to me. And you made the changes? On all 20 copies. At that time of night? Well, how about the charts? Done. And the transparencies? In color. Everything's bound and ready. That's great. But how'd you do it? Connections. Connections? What connections? Kinko's, your branch office, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call 1-800-743-COPY for your nearest Kinko's branch office. Every day's a long day for this working mom. I think it's time for sleepy time. Celestial Seasonings packs so many natural herbs and spices into every tea bag. You get so much flavor out of the tea. Mmm, fresh spearmint, soothing chamomile. I unwind a little more with every taste. Celestial Seasonings Herb Teas. Nature makes the taste. Celestial makes the tea. There's no time like sleepy time. In today's forecast, rain and snow virtually coast to coast. You can see it on the midday forecast map. We have rain and snow in the west. We have some rain and some morning snows in the east. We also have some freezing rain and drizzle on a band at midday through the Texas Panhandle into Oklahoma in the northwestern uh, Arkansas and southern sections of Missouri. We also have some Arctic cold residing over the Dakotas, Minnesota, 
and uh, the upper lakes, and that means dry but very, very cold conditions persisting through the afternoon hours. Here's the way it'll look later on today. Of course, the green represents rain, the white snow, the orange coloring would be freezing rain and drizzle. One place to get some break today is Southern California after all the rain lately. Temperatures in the southwest will mainly be in the 50s and 60s with 30s and 40s in the mountains. The cold Arctic air here, Montana to northern Minnesota, highs in the single digits, 30s and 40s through the Ohio Valley and northeast, 50s and 60s in the Gulf states, and Florida again hits the 80s. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Eight minutes past the hour. You're tuned into the Weather Channel, of course. Rick Griffin and Bruce Edwards along with you for the next uh, 20 minutes or so. And by the way, Bruce will have a good morning forecast coming up here in about three minutes, so stay tuned for that. Waking up weather time now. Let's check out the airports first. Boston's in good shape. Newark delays in Atlanta because of rain, fog, and traffic. Lots of planes heading out towards the end of the runway, and things are getting a little backed up. Chicago's okay. Minneapolis and Pittsburgh. We do have delays in the middle of the nation at places like Dallas about 45 minutes and at Salt Lake City up to one hour delays because of snow and fog. One place that's back in good shape today is Los Angeles after the torrential rains of yesterday. Almost too much of a good thing in Southern California. Obviously folks are out sandbagging yesterday. Uh, it looks like about two and a half to three and a half inches of rain fell uh, Wednesday and Thursday in Southern California and obviously producing some troubles with, with flooding uh, problems throughout uh, the area, even some mudslides. Uh, no doubt uh, that is the case because look at some of these rainfall totals. Mount Palomar, northeast of San Diego, topped out with nine and a half inches of rain. Can you believe that? Mount Wilson, eight and a half inches. Big Bear Lake in the San Bernardino Mountains, almost seven, and they're up, up there at 7,000 feet, one of the resort areas. So the snow levels are way up above 8,000 feet at this case. And Los Angeles, four and a half inches of rain. That brings their season total to um, at least three inches above average, which uh, in a sense is good news because the drought situation uh, is beginning to wane with all the heavy rains we've had recently. Well, Southern California will get a break today. The front's on through, the air is dried out. It's actually clear, mostly clear in the LA basin this morning. However, there is more rain on the way as you'll see in the forecast coming up here shortly. In the northeast, light snow now from parts of the upper Hudson Valley, west to Buffalo, southwest to Cleveland and Columbus. In this band, uh, one to two inches of snow have fallen, and an inch or two band of snow may ride across the northeast today. Far the south, rain above freezing temperatures from Philadelphia and Atlantic City, south to Raleigh-Durham. In fact, it continues right to the Gulf Coast, and there are a few uh, thunderstorms mixed in south of the warm front, east of the cold front, and in fact, to some isolated reports of uh, down power lines and trees over portions of south central and southeast Georgia this morning because of some intense thunderstorm activity. And in this, this area, the air is unstable. There's tropical air coming up. There could be severe weather over northern Florida and so southeast Georgia uh, today. So keep an eye to the sky and keep it tuned here to the Weather Channel. West to the front, well, the steady rain's in, but it's still cloudy and misty, and there's a lot of drizzle, extensive drizzle from Alabama, Mississippi to Arkansas, Louisiana into Texas, and it changes over to some icy conditions as temperatures drop below freezing. Amarillo, north of Oklahoma City, around Enid up to about Tulsa. It's cold Arctic high pressure here. It's been as low as 30 below zero across northern Minnesota this morning. Light snow, Cheyenne to Salt Lake City up to Seattle and Portland. Light snow to sea level in the northwest because of the cold air. 
A few rain showers over northern and central California, but skies have cleared in the south. The heavy rains have pushed into uh, Arizona, where Phoenix is having a downpour right now. More on that in the forecast next. Help someone listening. Help someone here. Can somebody take the pain and make it disappear? Finally, someone understands all pain is not the same. What the hell where it hurts? Introducing new aspirin free Bayer Select. What the hell where it hurts? Yes, aspirin free. What the hell where it hurts? With Bayer Select. Bayer Select. Not one, but five different aspirin free products for five different kinds of pain sinus, headache, nighttime, menstrual, and arthritis pain because all pain is not the same. What the hell of hurts with now your local forecast accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Clock on the wall says it's 17 before the hour. Rise and shine. We've got to look at your forecast. And as we look at the midday picture, quiet weather, north central and northern lakes, but cold. Otherwise, not quite as cold, but boy, awfully unsettled as we have a low pressure rippling up along this front, instigating more rain over the mid-Atlantic, pushing the showers into uh, the Jersey Shore and up towards New England. Somewhat of a respite in the southern Mississippi Valley before the next storm slides on through. Some ice and snow in the plains, and we see this string of low pressure systems rotating through some scattered precipitation. Uh, a little more... Uh, tolerable across Southern California today, a respite between storms, so not as much rain. I don't know, it might be uh, troublesome trying to fit in 36 holes of golf at La Costa for the PGA Tour. They got washed out yesterday, and if the waters have subsided, they'll try 36 today. In the northeast, though, the waters will be increasing. Right now, we got the snow on the northern lakes with one batch of moisture, and that'll move on out, and then the moisture from the mid-Atlantic starts riding on to the north. So that's what will provide the half inch to an inch of rain from southern New England and back through the Jersey Shore and south into Virginia. An inch or more, though, from uh, Richmond and Newport News and the Tidewater area south, while one to three inches of snow with the initial blast of cold air and moisture through this morning. Teens and 20s back up and towards the mountainous areas, 30s, much of the rest of New England, and we run into 40s from southern New Jersey into the central Appalachians. The southeast has that front and that low rippling along, and that will help instigate rain and thunderstorms, some of which could be strong, producing some pretty heavy amounts of rain. Cloudy with intermittent light rain and drizzle from Louisiana and the lower Mississippi Valley to east Texas and then West Texas has the rain, the ice, and snows as you move up into Kansas. So they're rather treacherous for travelers here. And no picnic either on I-95 heading north or south. It's going to be soggy from the Carolinas into North Florida with an inch or more of rain. Temperatures in Florida still remain mild in the 70s and 80s. Much cooler, though, through the lower Mississippi River Valley, and that will promote some of that freezing rain and drizzle in Oklahoma and Kansas as the moisture flows in. But also some snows will break out in the coldest of the air across the western plains, while some Sunshine will rule the Great Lakes today. Three to six inches of snow around the foothills of the mountains, one to three spreading on out towards, uh, well, southwestern portions of Missouri. High temperatures today, though, will still be bitterly cold with sub-zero highs along the Canadian border. We'll find teens into the northern lakes and 20s into the central lakes. When your sinus and nasal congestion feels this bad, what can you do? Last year, you wanted to call the doctor. Last year, you wanted a prescription. But this year, Tavis D in its full prescription strength is available without a prescription. Just one tablet helps relieve 12 hours worth of painful congestion and sneezing. Guess what? I'll be there after all. Tavis D. One tablet, 12 hours, and now no prescription. Look for Tavis D at these fine stores. 
From the Weather Channel, the 1993 Weather Guide calendar with phenomenal weather events features stunning weather photos and interesting facts. To order, call 1-800-845-8711. Call the Weather Channel Connection, 1-900-WEATHER, before you hit the road, and you'll be prepared for any weather old man winter brings. Don't be dull, be dazzling. Dazzle with the Bedazzler, the kit that can change your wardrobe from dull to daring. Just place the gem stud on the Bedazzler platform, then press down to attach to your fabric. Look, it's as easy as using a stapler. In seconds, you've got a dazzling design. Children love the Bedazzler, too. It's great for gifts, crafts, and costumes. Now with the Bedazzler, you can add glittering rhinestones and studs for a fraction of the cost. Transform blouses, belts, jeans, and boots with studs and stones. You can get the Bedazzler for just $19.95. We'll also send you 150 sparkling silver gem studs absolutely free. Plus, you get 25 brilliant rhinestones in emerald, ruby, diamond, and topaz. You also get 15 popular designs for quick and easy bedazzling. You get a $50 value for just $19.95. Sorry, no CODs. Credit card users call right now, 1-800-854-9300. We are giving away valuable gold gem studs at incredible discounts on all of today's orders. Call toll-free to order by credit card or to get mail order address. Call 1-800-854-9300. You're watching the Weather Channel for accurate forecasts at your convenience. Weather you can always turn to. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Imagine this is Florida, and that's Walt Disney World, SeaWorld, Universal Studios, Epcot Center. And this is Kissimmee St. Cloud, offering the closest and most affordable accommodations in the middle of Central Florida's best attractions. Call 1-800-368-KISS, and we'll send you our free vacation guide with information on affordable hotels and campgrounds. So if you can stay here, why stay anywhere else? Kissimmee St. Cloud, location is our biggest attraction. For Kissimmee St. Cloud Resort area information, call 1-800-367-KISS. Icy roads can be a problem even for professional drivers. To feel secure about winter driving, travel on the road the iced with salt. Hay light, the same rock salt the pros use on highways. Tests show that salt reduces accidents by 88.3%. So when you dry, stay on the road, the ice whips out. And the winter storm update is sponsored by OXO Salt Incorporated, the leading producer of de-icing salt. Let's check it out. Let's check out the current surface map. We have rain and snow in the east. We have dry weather and Arctic cold through the nation's uh, northern plains, Dakotas and Minnesota. 30 below zero in International Falls, Minnesota this morning. We have snow, freezing rain and drizzle, and rain and mist and plain old drizzle with above freezing temperatures in the southern plains. And we have rain and snow in the west. Quite a large area, a widespread region of light snow from Washington and Oregon, southeast through Wyoming, and into portions of western Nebraska and Kansas. Well, southern California, the cold front's pushed on through, and you're finally seeing a break in the wet weather after nine and a half inches of rain at Mount Palomar. Mount Wilson, northeast of uh, Los Angeles, eight and a half inches. Other places with heavy rains include Mount Laguna, Big Bear Lake, and the San Bernardino range and Los Angeles Airport with four and a half inches of rain. Very heavy downpours for Southern California. Heaviest rain today will move into Arizona, out into the uh, Sabine River Pass area, Sabine River, East Texas, Western Louisiana, and right here in the southeast, more than an inch of rain, a possibility in the dark green. Look out for the flooding in Arizona. 
Flash flood watches continue and flash flood warnings are in effect for many areas. Snows will be heavy in the western mountains with light snows in the northeast, one to three inches. And that freezing precipitation will drop southward with colder air moving in tonight and Saturday. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Before the hour, let's make some weekend plans, and we look at the jet stream, and it shows the southern branch still far to the north, pumping in some moisture, and that big, strong upper-level low spinning about the northwest, ejecting little bits of energy and storms across the west, and they eventually work across the nation. And by Monday, no overall change in the pattern, although the southern branch rides a little farther north as the ridge starts to poke up. That will allow temperatures to modify. And we see that as we check the regime. Now in that little uh, cup of cold air, that's the Arctic air. We'll see it cool down significantly on Saturday. Look at these highs, sub-zero in the northern Plains states. Still 80s, though, in Florida. Everyone else will be fairly seasonable. We're not going to see any dramatic shift, but temperatures will start to modify in the midsection on Sunday. And in the southeast on Monday, we'll see the 50s riding on in, actually, the eastern Kentucky and uh, eastern Virginia. Some 60s on up towards Norfolk, so it'll get a little milder. But it's going to stay generally wet. We're not going to see an overall change in the precipitation. These storms come slamming into the west and slide east. Now, Saturday, snow for Pittsburgh for football, some rain showers in San Francisco for football, and rain moving into Southern California through the afternoon and evening hours, and that may negate any further golf on the PGA Tour this weekend as the rain will hang in on Sunday. Another disturbance slides east, some ice in the mid-Atlantic states, some snow to the north, and some rain showers possible Sunday at uh, Dallas, uh, Cowboy Stadium for that game, and on Monday, more soggy weather in the, snow in the south. In my line of work, we go through a lot of sheet metal. So I know a little something about replacement parts. Did you know that some insurance companies specify cheap imitation hoods, doors, and fenders for GM cars and trucks? It's true. And a lot of that cut rate stuff doesn't measure up to GM standards. Facts are all right here in this free brochure. So take some advice from a guy who's been through a fender or two. Ask to see your repair order before insurance work begins and insist on genuine GM parts. Look for genuine GM parts available at this local GM dealer. This is a commercial for men. It's about men living longer, looking younger, feeling stronger. It's about men's health, the only magazine devoted to what men are concerned about most. Every issue has easy ways to eat smarter, exercise better, boost energy levels, and look and feel great. Learn how to flatten your stomach without dieting and sit-ups. How to reduce the signs of aging. Discover aphrodisiacs that rev up your sex life. And reviews of the latest sports equipment. And now get 101 Men's Health Secrets free when you call for your trial subscription to Men's Health. Find the secret to losing 10 pounds fast. To cutting your cholesterol 30 points in 30 days. To longer lasting sex. For your free book and nine issues of Men's Health for $16.97, call this toll-free number. You can cancel any time for a full refund and still keep the book. Try Men's Health today. It's about you, your health, your looks, your relationships. Isn't it about time? And now it's time for the Michelin Driver's Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealers. Well, we'll focus on the Northeast on our Michelin travel trouble spot today. Uh, we're looking for some light snows across northern Pennsylvania, New York, and central and northern New England. One to two, maybe three inches of snow at the highest elevations, definitely enough to make the roadways snowy and slushy in some areas. Farther south, some rain. However, tonight, 
Uh, later today and tonight, colder air will begin to filter in. So you see the snow, freezing rain and drizzle line gradually moving southward during the nighttime hours and into the first part of the weekend. Uh, down near the nation's capital, Philadelphia and New York City by this time tomorrow. So take that into account. Rain far the south, some of it very heavy. The rains are heavy in the west. A flash flood watch is in effect for Arizona. And there are numerous counties that have flash flood warnings in effect in the state of Arizona, which means flooding is already occurring or is about to occur. Look out for the thunderstorms here. Also in Florida and southeast Georgia, wintry conditions, snowy roads in the west and parts of the northeast. Not much wind in the east, but it'll be gusty at times in parts of the west. For regional Michelin drivers reports, call the Weather Channel Connection, 1-900-WEATHER. Ah, isn't it wonderful? A tire so special, it may last as long as you own your car. The XH4. Congratulations. It's a Michelin. Backed by an 80,000 mile Treadwear Limited warranty. A Michelin. Because so much is riding on your tires. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Watching the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to for accurate, dependable weather forecasts 24 hours a day. This morning's weather is sponsored by 100% Colombian Coffee, the richest coffee in the world. And good morning. We look at the airports for you on this busy Friday. And folks, as we always talk about, when some of the major hubs get, uh, hubs get backed up, we're going to be seeing uh, big backup problems all the way through the smaller airports as well. So Atlanta starts off with some delays. Uh, there's some rain and low ceilings in Atlanta this morning. Dallas uh, ditto that with the low ceilings. No problems with the, with the weather, though. Salt Lake City, 45 and 60 minutes. Compliments of four inches of fresh snow on the ground this morning, where it is still snowing, and it is quite foggy in Salt Lake City this morning. Look at this current surface analysis. Just when you thought it was safe to say we got a little break in the weather, forget about it. It's going to be a very busy day across much of the nation, even where we don't have anything going on. It's cold as all get out up in northern Minnesota this morning. Temperatures ranging 20, 30 degrees below zero. So very cold Arctic high pressure moving to the east and creating forecast problems as this next wave of low pressure begins to lift to the north and east. Man, have we had some rain in the southeast. Tallahassee, 24 hour rainfall total. Survey said 4.44 inches of rain in the past 24 hours. Parts of Arizona, we've seen four to eight inches of rain in the past 24 hours. And it continues to rain, and there continues to be flash flood warnings within the watch area, which encompasses the entire state. Northern New England, a little light snow here. Burlington, Montpelier, up through Rustic County. We take you back through Syracuse, Rome, Utica. There's been about an inch to an inch and a half of snow around uh, places like Detroit, Northwest Ohio, Indiana here. This is starting to taper off just a little bit, and we should really see this taper off as this trough comes on through. There may be a slight changeover or ending of the light rain across Pennsylvania and parts of New York, but we don't expect any accumulation in here today. But tomorrow, it's a whole different scenario when this high gets here and the second batch of moisture comes up. We'll really be uh, watching things from Boston, actually not from Boston, but from New York and Long Island, down through Philadelphia into the D.C. area where it could be very slippery with ice and snow in the forecast. Into the southeast, oh, you talk about rain and a rain shaft. This thing goes all the way from Norfolk, Virginia, on out into the deep reaches of the Gulf of Mexico here. And you can see why, as all this just keeps moving on shore, they've had so much heavy rainfall in the Tallahassee area. Lots of rain in that area. 
Snowing this morning in Salt Lake City, snowing in Seattle, snowing in Portland. New inch of snow on the ground in Seattle. Most of this is light, but be careful, please, if you're traveling. We've also got some snow down in the Yakima Valley. Along the coast, even, we've seen some snow bursts around Quileute and Astoria as the cold front is coming on shore. Light drizzle, rain tapering off in California, but still some mountain snow showing up here. And the heaviest snow now is starting to pull into northeastern Nevada and eventually across Utah here. This is where we expect the heaviest snow to be today. So once again, some fresh powder coming for Colorado and also into Utah. We take a look at those temperatures. It's 20 at Boise, 23 at Salt Lake with the snow, 15 at Casper, 18 at Chicago, four below at Minneapolis. There's the big 30 below up at International Falls, 40 in New York, 52 in Atlanta and 46 at Dallas. Wind chills very cold up into the northwest and the northern high plains, but other than that, we're not looking too bad. We'll find out who gets wet and how much today next. How, how do I know which coffee to get? Just look for Juan Valdez. Right. Okay. Buenos dias. I just saw Juan Valdez. Of course. He's on every can of Colombian coffee. When you see him, you know you're getting the richest coffee in the world. Oh. If you want 100% Colombian coffee, just look for Juan Valdez. You can't miss him. Look for the symbol of Juan Valdez on these fine 100% Colombian coffee brands. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Good morning, everyone. Three minutes past the hour. Time to take a look at uh, midday Friday's map. Lots of colors, reds, greens, oranges, all kinds of colors. And that indicates some busy weather across the nation. We've got some rain across the eastern seaboard extending all the way up into uh, New England, I guess. We have a little bit of freezing precipitation on tap. as The colder air starts to move in and slam into that moisture. That indicates that we're going to see some freezing precipitation later on this afternoon, and especially later tonight into tomorrow morning for some areas of New York and Pennsylvania. Here we go, freezing precipitation across the central part of the nation indicated in orange, amarillo. You uh, are looking at a freezing rain advisory at this hour. Arizona, it's going to be a busy day. You're going to have lots of rain. Already have seen an inch of rain today in Phoenix region, and rain still coming down. We've got moderate rains at this hour in Phoenix due to the funnel system pushing on through. The snows continue in the west. We'll see heavier snows this afternoon as this low pulls into the Four Corners region. Snow advisories in effect for the mountains of uh, Wa, Colorado, I should say. And you can see up to an inch, or a foot, I should say, of snow in the Colorado mountains. Today, the snow continues to fly across the mountains. The heaviest amounts will be in the southwestern uh, mountains of Colorado. The rains continue across uh, the Arizona region, the area shaded in the dark green, that's when you're going to see the heaviest rains, up to an inch a possibility, even more in some locales. There's the heavy snows across the mountains, over a foot expected, some light rains uh, throughout the uh, coastal areas of Oregon, but the uh, next punch of rain across California will come later on tomorrow night into uh, Sunday. So it's not over yet, folks. We're going to see a break today, but then more rains again for tomorrow. 30s across Nevada for this afternoon, very cold to the north. Into the uh, Midwest we go. We've got partly sunny skies across Duluth, but what a trade-off. You've got very cold readings 
up in that region of the country, but at least you'll see some sunshine. Precipitation, well, the heaviest stuff will head off to the south and east. We'll have one to three inches of snow falling across the plains. Some of that could be in the form of freezing drizzle before changing over to all snow across southern Kansas. Temperatures today, teens and 20s across much of the plains. In the northeast, we've got snow on tap, one to three inches. We might have a mixture of that as the uh, colder air moves in with some rain, a possibility, especially on the coastal regions. You'll be picking up a half an inch to an inch. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s in the southeast, plenty of rain. If you're between 45 and 75, listen to this message about guaranteed life insurance for less than a dollar a day. Patty said Dad's funeral cost over $5,000? It was even more than that with all the other expenses. It's good Dad had that extra life insurance from the Mutual of Omaha companies. I don't know what I would have done. That's why Tom and I bought those guaranteed life policies. We didn't even have to take a physical. You can get guaranteed life insurance for less than a dollar a day. If you're 45 to 75, you can't be turned down or canceled. As you grow older, benefits won't decrease and rates will never increase. Don't wait. Call the Mutual of Omaha companies now, toll free to receive free information on guaranteed coverage. Review it in the privacy of your own home and there's no risk or obligation. Call 1-800-351-9800 now for your free information. That's 1-800-351-9800. Seven past the hour, time to take a look at the weather for the weekend. If you're in the northeast, that means, well, some snow and rain and drizzle and all kinds of stuff in there. And the plains, just plain old cold. The conditions, 10 to 20 uh, below across extreme northern part of Montana. Temperatures are going to stay basically where they are right now over the next several days. Could see a slight warm-up in the plains on Sunday as you head into the teens, so that's definitely a warm-up around Duluth, Minnesota, but still very cold around Thief River Falls and War Road, Minnesota, where you'll still stay in the single digits. It's very warm across the south. The big story really isn't going to be the temperatures the next several days. It's going to be the big storm that's pulling on uh, to the coast and over into the Four Corners region right now, seeing lots of rain across Arizona. On Saturday, this whole mess scoots uh, to the east slightly. Get a break a little bit uh, in Arizona, which is certainly good news, but the snow starts to pull onto the plains. Colder air moving on in that... Uh, makes for more snow across the plains extending all the way into New England by tomorrow afternoon talking about mostly snow and then an ice mix to the south of that possibly around Washington DC could be talking about some ice for tomorrow afternoon light rain thunderstorms and showers continue across the deep south and then another storm moving on from uh, the Oregon and Washington area right on down brings more snow to the Sierras Colorado Rocky Mountain region so good for skiers not good for travelers and then that storm once again takes the same path down throughout the four corners out onto the plains or mixture of rain and precipitation comes on in now your local forecast accurate and dependable from the weather channel There's a tornado coming to your video library. Now, a new title from the Weather Channel that you can own on video, The Enemy Wind. 45 minutes of tornado action and two thrilling stories. First, follow the exploits of a fearless storm chaser and photographer as he documents the fury of the storm. Then, the Weather Channel production that takes you inside the destructive force of a tornado, The Enemy Wind the storm is forecast in the tale of one tornado town. Plus, at no extra charge, the Weather Channel 1993 tornado calendar. 13 dramatic photos and dozens of amazing tornado tales. Call 
1-800-525-6600 now, and you can own the Enemy Wind and the 1993 Tornado Calendar, all for just $19.95. Call 1-800-525-6600 now and charge by phone or send check or money order to the address on the screen. Call now. And good morning, skiers. We're waking up to fresh powder in the west again. What's new? Skiers forecast is sponsored by Visa. It's everywhere you want to be. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the satellite picture here. Guess what? Tropical moisture heading in for the weekend. This is going to mean more moisture coming in across the southwest. And yes, more high elevation snows for Southern California. Currently, we have a system working across, and this is coming across Utah and Colorado today. Vail, currently with seven new inches of snow, skiing on 3,992 acres, Park City, Mammoth Mountain, all reporting powder conditions, some beautiful skiing this morning across much of Colorado and Utah and also northern New Mexico as the snows have moved on in. There's Taos with a couple of new inches, skiing on 71 trails there, Winter Park, Colorado with powder conditions and a half a foot. Sun Valley, looking at a real nice base, no new snow, but perhaps a little in the forecast today as we see a disturbance come down through the Cascades, looks like three to six inches in through here, orographic snows for the Sierra, highest elevations of the southwest, and then the heavier snows will pile up over the interior today. For ski conditions at over 400 other ski areas, call 1-900-WEATHER. Both Visa and American Express Gold Cards can get you to La roche guillon one of the prettiest towns in France. But should something go wrong here, only Visa Gold can get you out. You had to come to France, right? <laughs> Don't start, Marty. Because La roche guillons only towing get service... A tow truck in. No, we're not getting a tow truck. I can get this out. ...doesn't take American Express. We? Oui? Visa Gold, delivering what really uh, matters. Jamal's from. Honey, that means I eat France. Oh. It's everywhere you want to be. You can use your Visa card at the Pearl Vision Center nearest you. If you've been hiding from nighttime cold medicines... No, not that! <laughs> there's a medicine you'll like. This is different, dear. Robitussin Night Relief. It relieves your sneezing, sniffling, aches and coughs without alcohol. Unlike that other nighttime cold medicine, which has 25% alcohol. Thanks. It's the kind of relief you'd expect from Robitussin. New Robitussin Night Relief. Sleep tight. Nighttime cold medicine from a name you trust. 18 cities in their forecast, starting off with Atlanta. You can see how ugly it's going to be in the West, etc., etc., etc. Call the Weather Channel Connection, 1-900-WEATHER, before you hit the road, and you'll be prepared for any weather old man winter brings. There are a lot of smart reasons to apply for the American Express card. Just call us at 1-800-THE-CARD. And then a canceled flight won't leave you stranded. I can't believe they canceled our flight. <laughs> It'll be fine. This is a great day. It's a beautiful drive. Because unlike a bank card, the American Express card has no preset spending limit. You can apply right over the phone. With the American Express card, you're in control. You pay your bill in full. There's no revolving debt, no outrageous interest. You stay out of that trap. So 
You'll call 1-800-THE-CARD. You can apply right over the phone. I still don't know where I lost that wallet. My whole life was in it. Pictures, license. <laughs> so we're on bread and water? No. New card. If you ever lose the card or it's stolen, you can get a replacement in 24 hours. Don't delay. Call 1-800-THE-CARD and apply now. If you're about to travel, watch the five-day business planner here on the Weather Channel at 20 minutes after every hour. You get a comprehensive national report that covers the forecast over the next five days. Watch the five-day business planner coming up soon on the Weather Channel. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. I see a doctor. I'm married to one. My wife recommends Dimatap Extend Tabs. Doctors have recommended the Dimatap brand over 200 million times. Adult Strength Extend Tabs relieve your cold symptoms for 12 hours with one of the least sedating non-prescription antihistamines. My wife is a doctor, so I can really trust what she tells me. Doctors recommend Dimatap for their families and yours. For four-hour cold relief, try new Dimatap Liquid Gels. Celestial Seasonings and I would now like to demonstrate how to make the world's best tasting iced tea, refrigerator tea. Ready? First, you take Celestial's Ice Delight into the cold water and into the fridge. That's it. No, really. That's it. Celestial now makes iced tea that brews in the refrigerator. Caffeine-free Ice Delight. Fabulous. Celestial Seasonings. Nature makes the taste. Celestial makes the tea. And good morning, travelers, update time. Into the southeast we go with the rainfall, just plenty of it here. You can see it moving all the way north into the mid-Atlantic region here. This is all rain. We've had some tremendous heavy amounts of rain out in the west, about four to six inches in some cases. And there have been numerous reports of flash flooding this morning, as well as flash flood statements out of Arizona. So obviously a very messy situation there. We take into the southeast. You can see this moisture streaming off to the north and east. And look at it, it's still bubbling here off the coast. And with that in mind, it's just going to keep raining. Tallahassee has had almost five inches of rain in the past 24 hours, a lot of it coming just last night. And you can see here, this whole quarter, as we were talking about this morning, is under the gun for three plus from now on in. Also a shot at a severe thunderstorm or two. We'll have to keep an eye on this. May even have to move this strong area back over the panhandle since this stuff is starting to refire even into parts of southern Alabama. Also into Arizona we look, and that's where we find the flash flood watches. Now, from the Weather Channel, the enemy wind. 45 minutes of tornado action. Watch as a daring storm chaser goes for up-close pictures. Then see the enemy wind, the Weather Channel documentary on nature's destructive force. Plus, the 1993 tornado calendar. 13 dramatic photos and tales of tornado oddities. Call 1-800-525-6600 to own the enemy wind and the tornado calendar, all for just $19.95. Call now and charge by phone or send check or money order to the address on the screen. Call now. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel.
Dan, good morning. It's time to check out our five-day business planner, and it appears that we really aren't going to move with this weather pattern that we're stuck in. I want to show you a satellite picture here quickly before I start things off, and you can see what's going on out in the west. Storm curling in and coming in today. Snows for the Rockies. Look at this very deep subtropical feed coming up into Southern California. This will be the next system that they're going to have to deal with over the weekend. And I really think by looking at this, the kind of moisture that's going to be able to be tapped here, Southern Arizona, uh, Southern California is in for another round of tremendous rainfall potential, as well as heavy mountain snows in the highest elevation. That's the good news because you're talking about a very high snow level with this type of a subtropical pattern. All right, let's get into it here. Obviously a mess today in the west. That little twist coming on down is snowing in Seattle this morning. We're talking about that snow continuing, mainly on the light side. The Cascades and the higher and the hillier terrain around Seattle will get the most snow out of this, probably about two, three, maybe even four inches. Snows continue to fly and they'll develop in the Denver area. They'll develop here in northeastern New Mexico. And as you get east into the plains and you're Cold air is very, very low levels in the atmosphere and is not very high, maybe about 100, 200 feet. We're talking about a little freezing drizzle or patches of freezing drizzle streaking out across Oklahoma and southwestern Missouri. Other than that, big hole high big cold high pressure building down over New England. This is going to help shut off the precipitation temporarily and then all of a sudden tomorrow, uh, tonight I should say, when this precipitation starts to develop back to the north, it'll have cold air in place. So we'll start talking about a snow situation for New York, probably sleet or freezing rain developing tonight and then uh, perhaps even changing on over to snow as we work our way into tomorrow. Now you'll also have to be careful in Philadelphia and D.C. because at the same time this cold air works into New York, you can bet it isn't going to stop here. It's going to just keep heading out of the south and you're talking about a changeover here from perhaps light rain or light drizzle to freezing drizzle and some sleet pellets and potentially even snow once you head into the higher terrain. So obviously some very tricky forecasts coming up as we work our way into Saturday morning and you can see what's happening here as this next low pressure wave moves to the north. Just starting to see the leading edge of that subtropical moisture making its way on shore in Southern California and that should occur during the day on Saturday. Temperatures will not change that much at all. This is not really a big deal except for the forecaster who has to look at the rain snow line situation which will not only occur at the surface but also aloft. So please uh, keep in mind it's going to be a tricky forecast. In our continuing search for the best of everything, our special segment today applies to all motorists. Straining to see through a rain-soaked windshield is no fun and can be unsafe, but there is a solution. It's called Rain-X, the invisible windshield wiper. It dramatically improves wet weather visibility. After my first application, I was a true believer. With Rain-X, you'll feel safer driving in the rain. Go out and get your Rain-X today. Look for Rain-X, the invisible windshield wiper at all fine automotive departments near you. Have you ever eaten fat-free foods? Have you? Because if you had, you'd know how bad they taste and you wouldn't need me to tell you. But I'll, I'll try it. Mm. This is wonderful. I like this. It's crispy, it's light, and I know it's not fat-free. Kellogg's Corn Flakes have always been fat-free. Kellogg's Corn Flakes? Fat-free? Taste them again for the first time. <laughs> All right, so I was wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong. Good morning. It's 23 past the hour. This morning's weather, very messy. First of all, we'll start you off with some airport delays to tell you about. Atlanta, Georgia reporting in a 35-minute delay. We do have some light rain in the region. Boston, Newark, Miami, no problems there in the Midwest from Pittsburgh to Minneapolis to St. Louis to Chicago. No delays there as well. We do have a 44-minute delay to tell you about in Dallas, Fort Worth, and also uh, Salt Lake City reporting in nearly an hour wait there. So you might have to grab a cup of coffee, sit down, watch some TV while you wait for your plane because we do have some light snow. In fact, Salt Lake City already picking up four inches of new snow on the ground. Turning to the satellite picture right now, we can see uh, where the snow and all the clouds are. We do have a system that's pulling into the Four Corners region. That's what brought all the rains to California, the mountain snows. Now it's moving into uh, areas such as Arizona. You're seeing the brunt of the rain this afternoon, and the mountains of Colorado and Utah will see their fair share of snow this afternoon. Big rains in the south, though, extending all the way up the eastern seaboard. In fact, we've had reports of as much as nearly five inches of rain in Tallahassee, Florida. You've seen your share a couple of inches falling across the, the southern parts of Georgia as well. Scattered areas of snow throughout the plains and freezing rain right now across the southern parts of Texas. Even some freezing drizzle advisories in effect for the southern panhandle of Texas for this afternoon. Anyway, here we go. Here's where the precipitation is right now moving in off the Gulf. Lots of moisture to work with. The problem 
we have a lot of these storms that continue to develop and then kind of track across the same area. Now, the area is shaded in green. That's where the areas of heaviest precipitation are at this hour. And so the rain just continues to redevelop and go over the same area. And of course, that means some heavier rains for certain areas. In the northeast, we're dealing with just some very light snow right now across the lakes region and we're going to see that diminish over the next several hours. In fact, it should be coming to a halt shortly around the Buffalo. Syracuse already stopped the snowing and then we've got rain to the south. But the problem is we're going to see some cooler air start to sink down. Back to the maps we go, we can see what I'm talking about. Here's in the northeast. We've got this trough of uh, cooler air moving down, some light snow scattered throughout the area as it bumps into this moisture. That's going to mean a period of freezing rain and drizzle and then changing over to all snow. So it's kind of hairy right now as to where that line exactly is going to be. But around Philadelphia, you could see some areas that are going to change over to freezing rain by early tomorrow morning. In the southeast, we've got some problems. Here we go. There's the heavy rains right along the stationary front. It seems that we get these areas of low pressure that continue to develop and move along the frontal system, and that causes problems. In the west, the orange, that's our area of freezing precipitation at this hour will continue throughout the morning hours and then things will start to change over either to all rain in the south or to all snow in the north. A few areas of patchy fog around Concordia, Kansas at this hour. Temperature wise, well, we've got a fine line between where we're seeing freezing uh, and uh, warmer air. 30 in Burlington, 34 in Albany, 52 right now in Atlanta, 48 in Birmingham. But then you head to the north and we're talking about frigid, frigid air, 32 below right now in International Falls, but sunny conditions. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. important things you need for an exciting successful trip to the slopes this winter this may be the most important of all tune to the weather channel at eight minutes past every hour for the skiers forecast get up to the minute ski information from major resorts as well as conditions for slopes near you get late breaking weather affecting ski areas with next day regional and national outlooks the skiers forecast hourly all season long only on the weather channel weather you can always turn to this is the Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to for accurate weather forecasts at your convenience, 24 hours a day. And good morning. A pretty good tropical flow of air into southern Arizona this morning is going to cause uh, considerable forecast problems. Let me show you what's going on now on the radar. You can see all this moisture coming on up. There's been some two to four inch amounts, especially in the hilly terrain. I would imagine there's even been more than that, but uh, I haven't been able to find too much information out of some of the stories that have been written out of Arizona, but as we get the information, we will pass it along to you as far as how much rain they've had and the flash flooding problems that they continue to get, especially areas in north of Phoenix here into the hilly terrain. There's been even some snow up around the rim country. We're talking about seven inches of new snow on the southern rim. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this forecast. One system heading out of Arizona today, so later on we should start to see this precipitation taper off just a little bit, except for the mountains. The flow is still from the southwest, and there will be some mountain-induced rain and mountain snows here. That'll hold true for Southern California as well. In the northwest, some light snow. Heavier in the mountains here. Could be as much as a half a foot, maybe even 8, 10 inches of snow. Biggest snows today will pull from Utah, actually will pull out of Nevada through Utah into Southern Colorado. Big rain event for the southeast, folks. This is a tropical stalled out frontal system, which you can see by later on this afternoon isn't going anywhere. We've already had five inches of rain at Tallahassee, and in some cases, some parts of the Florida Panhandle are getting rainfall at about three quarters of an inch an hour here. So it is just pounding the Panhandle with some rain. And you know, this is an area that's going to have to be watched here, obviously, and they're 
talking about already some flash flooding problems up toward Columbia, South Carolina, and even into the hills of Charleston, or the, the roads of Charleston, as the rain is moving on in. Speaking of the rain, the high, cold high, should suppress to the south today, and that should at least push the rainfall band to the south temporarily, but tomorrow it will have to be watched from D.C. to New York, as there is the potential for some ice and snow. So a snowy one over the interior today, precipitation lightening up a little bit over the southwest, but except for the mountains, we will continue to see generally a cloudy pattern. Mostly snow, most of your heavy snow here will be in the central Rockies along with the coldest temperatures, and you'll even see some snow develop in Denver later on today as the winds shift out of the south and east and the famous upslope flow develops. Up to the Great Lakes, not bad, but cold. Temperatures only in the below zero readings, single numbers and teens, and that's it. New England, light snow is pulling on through. A lot of this will taper off, and if it is affecting anyone, it should be in most of the mountain areas. But be careful tonight and tomorrow around the New York metro area. Every Sunday night, America rocked with laughter to Candid Camera. Now you can own the special collector's edition video, Candid Camera's all-time funniest moments. Alan Funt has personally selected the best Candid Camera laughs for this video. Muhammad Ali, I'm the champion. Sure. Here's the mailbox. Included are classic clips like the talking mailbox, <laughs> door on a vacant lot, and more. <laughs> it's a one-of-a-kind collection of hilarious moments your whole family will enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Candid Camera's all-time funniest moments on VHS is only $19.95 plus $3.95 postage and is not available in stores at any price. Call now to order. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Good morning. It's 33 past the hour. Time to take you traveling. We've got lots of slick roads out there, and we'll detail that for you in just a few minutes. But first of all, let's take a look at some specific forecasts across the nation. Take a walk on the wild side with Trials of Life. The gripping, award-winning nature video series that exposes the struggle to survive through uncensored, shocking photography. 
join acclaimed naturalist David Attenborough for a close encounter with raw nature. See the thrill of the hunt and the strategy of the kill, the relentless drive to continue the bloodline and the miracle of birth. Call now and receive hunting and escaping for $9.99 and see why the law of the jungle is kill or be killed. If it captures your interest, you can get other videos about every other month. Each tape explores the harsh realities of survival in the animal world. Take a walk on the wild side with trials of life. Call now to order hunting and escaping and find out why we call them animals. To order your Trials of Life video, call 1-800-548-3300 or send $9.99 plus $3.23 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Good morning. Thanks for tuning into the Weather Channel this morning. It's time to take a look at what's going to happen for the afternoon hours. Lots of stuff going on out there, folks, so take it easy if you're doing traveling, if you're just waking up in the Midwest. You're waking up to some very chilly weather, and in the plains, we're talking about some slick roads. The areas that you see shaded in orange, we're going to see the freezing rain continue throughout the afternoon hours today. Around Oklahoma City, Tulsa, you'll be talking about slippery conditions there. Southeast, you're going to need the galoshes and umbrellas because look at what happens here. Lots and lots of rain. Tallahassee already have seen up to four inches, possibly some five-inch totals as well. Across southern Georgia, we're looking at a lot of rain as well. Arizona, you're under flash flood watch for most of the afternoon. As this front continues its trek to the east, things will start to clear out late in the afternoon, but not before dropping some very significant amount of, of rain across the area. Through the afternoon hours, we see one right after another as far as low pressures come sliding down the chute and uh, heading into the mountain region. So skiers, looks like in good ski conditions in the west, chilly up north. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. Waking Up Weather is sponsored by Mountain Grill and Folgers Coffee. Folgers, the best part of waking up. We'll start out with telling you about airport delays this morning. Heading out for business trips or for pleasure this afternoon, you're going to encounter a 35-minute delay in Atlanta. No problem for the folks in Boston heading out. Chicago's O'Hare, no problems there. St. Louis, Minneapolis, Pittsburgh, breeze. Dallas, 44-minute delay. And in Salt Lake City, with uh, new snow on the ground, 45 to 60 minute delay there. You're going to have to uh, find yourself a chair and relax a little bit in Salt Lake City as you head out to the airport. Significant rains have hit parts of Southern California over the last several days. Look at L.A. Nearly five inches of rain have fallen from the storms. You have a break in the action today, then more storms come back again for tomorrow night. We'll talk about that in a few seconds. Mount Palomar in the San Diego uh, mountains, nine and a half a little bit more than that as far as rainfall goes. Into the satellite picture we go, we can see the break in the action across California right now, and that big storm is starting to work its way into Arizona. You've seen several inches of rain over the last couple of days, more on the way today before you see a slight break for tomorrow afternoon. But uh, we've got flash flood advisories in effect for parts of Arizona. Some areas will be picking up additional rainfall before all is said and done. And speaking of rain, lots of it across the su eastern seaboard, and some of that has been very heavy across parts of Florida and Georgia. Here's the satellite or the radar picture right now indicating the area shaded in dark green. That's where we're seeing some of the heaviest rainfall at this time. And the problem is we have all these low pressure systems that are working their way up basically taking the same path, and that means dropping several inches of rain in the same area. Tallahassee, nearly five inches of rain around Macon, over two inches of rain, and that rain continues with some flooding problems along the coastal areas of South Carolina. In the northeast, we have a different story. First of all, we're dealing with some light snow activity across the lakes region. As you head to the south, we're dealing with some rain problems. Folks uh, traveling this morning to work encountered some rain. Tomorrow morning, 
we could possibly be talking about some sleet around Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. could even see some sleet early tomorrow morning. Back to the maps we go, detailing what's going on right now. Here's the big story. We've got a little bit of fog across the Red River Valley, although uh, basically calm conditions across the upper Midwest, just very cold conditions, if you can handle that, I guess. A little bit in the way of snow across western Dakotas. Most of the snow is going to fall across the Colorado mountains today. We could see up to a foot of new snow across the San uh, San Diego de Cristo mountains of uh, Colorado, extending into the Rockies, and then just some very heavy rains. I can't detail that enough across parts of Arizona. So you're going to have to be careful if you're doing some traveling. Possibly look ahead because we have had reports of mudslides even across uh, por portions of I-17 uh, north of Phoenix today. In the northeast, just some light flurries will come to an end. Then you'll see a break in the action as far as the rain, and then that moisture will start to usher up again as another low pressure moves to the north, and that means more rain. Here's our low right now, and it's causing lots of very heavy rains across Florida. Could even see some thunder showers severe in intensity across the panhandle of Florida, Florida and southern Georgia. In the west, more low pressures sliding down the chute. That means more snow for the mountains. Good news for skiers. Not so good news for the travelers. Here's in the northeast, temperature-wise, 20s and 30s, 42 in Washington, D.C., 50s and 40s in the southeast, very cold in the north. Spent the night tossing in bed. Said some things the children were said. Now the sunlight's breaking through. I put some coffee on for you. Mountain-grown beans, specially ground, now give Folgers richer aroma to help wake you up and light up your morning. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your car. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. And good morning. Time for that forecast. Let's go ahead and take a look at the satellite picture here first of all. I want to show you how deep this tropical moisture is coming from the, you can see one area coming right through the Caribbean and on up into southern Florida. You can also see another shot from the subtropical jet stream. Uh, this is just a perfect situation for a very, very heavy rain event. And that's what we've got going on right now in the southeastern part of the country. You can see how all of it is just kind of moving off to the north and east. And all of a sudden, it's just stalled right here right now. We're going to have to wait several hours until we get this out of here. So it's going to be pouring all the way from Tallahassee up to Columbia, South Carolina. In the west, our big storm twisting on in. Heavy snows right now across the Wasatch and into western Colorado. Also into northern New Mexico here in Arizona. They're pretty high snow levels, but nonetheless, they're getting it. And they've been getting some pretty heavy rains as well with this tropical flow. A little bit of a break today for Southern California. Good news. Let's go into the forecast here, and you'll notice all sorts of stuff here on our surface analysis through midday Friday. But what this means is a very, very messy forecast from coast to coast with cold air sliding in over the Great Lakes. Again, a snowy day. They've already picked up four inches of new snow around Salt Lake City. It'll be snowing in Denver as the southeasterly wind picks up later on today. And once you get north and west of the foothills, boom, we're talking about heavy snow for the ski areas all the way down into northern New Mexico here, where it is currently just starting to snow, especially on the heavy side across southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. Teens, 20s, some single numbers out in the plains. Temperature's pretty much on the marginal side here. No, no big deal or big fluctuations expected. Plain states, uh, not too bad here. You, the farther north you go, the more sunshine you get if you like that. However, it is going to be cold 
Light precipitation is expected. This area should move to the east and begin to taper off. But behind that, we find the colder air. So Detroit, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Erie expect temperatures to decrease today as this colder air works in behind an Arctic front. The northeast, light snow is expected, especially in the hilly terrain or the mountains, which will act as a secondary front and help to squeeze out that snow. Rain should taper off and through here. We don't expect too much, but we could see some of this actually taper off as some freezing rain or sleet. I think the real problems in this area will be tonight and tomorrow when the cold air sinks down in and then another shot of moisture comes up from this thing, which today is just going to cause a tremendous amount of rain, possibly some more thunderstorms across Florida. Locally, a couple of inches anyway still left over in this area, so some possible flash flooding. Imagine this is Florida, and that's Walt Disney World, SeaWorld, Universal Studios, Epcot Center. And this is Kissimmee St. Cloud, offering the closest and most affordable accommodations in the middle of Central Florida's best attractions. Call 1-800-368-KISS, and we'll send you our free vacation guide with information on affordable hotels and campgrounds. So if you can stay here, why stay anywhere else? Kissimmee St. Cloud, location is our biggest attraction. For Kissimmee St. Cloud Resort Area information, call 1-800-367-KISS. Now on video, 45 minutes of fast tornado action, plus the 1993 tornado calendar, just 1995. Call 1-800-525-6600. It's getting rave reviews. Business Week calls 1-900-WEATHER tops in the field. Call before you travel, 95 cents a minute, 1-900-WEATHER. This is an effort to reach men and women who served in the United States Armed Forces. It concerns benefits reserved exclusively for honorably discharged veterans age 45 to 75. Please use the toll-free number to respond. Call now for free information on veterans-only life insurance plans that cost just $1 a week. When you qualify, you lock in the highest possible benefit amount available to you. These veterans' life insurance benefits are guaranteed never to go down. You are eligible to apply if you serve during peacetime or war, active duty or reserves, or any branch of service. Call now and you'll also get a free guide to veterans' benefits that explains government benefits you may be entitled to collect. Only veterans, their spouses and widows age 45 to 75 qualify for this exclusive offer. Term life insurance for just $1 a week. Don't wait. Call this toll-free number now for your free information and free guide to veterans' benefits from Veterans Life Insurance Company. You're watching the Weather Channel. Accurate and dependable forecast you can always turn to. And when you're away from your television, the Weather Channel forecast is also available from the following. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. roads can be a problem even for professional drivers. To feel secure about winter driving, travel on the road the ice with salt. Hay light, the same rock salt the pros use on highways. Tests show that salt reduces accidents by 88.3%. So when you drive, stay on the road the ice with salt. the tiniest droplets of moisture from the Pacific cross the West, dance in the jet stream, and dump all over Utah. 
skiers agree, Utah has the greatest snow on Earth. Light, dry snow gives you a choice. Powder or easy-to-ski packed runs. You can leave home in the morning and ski Utah that afternoon. Call 800-SKI-UTAH for the free Ski Utah Winter Vacation Planner. Get to know Utah snow. And good morning. It's time for that winter storm update. You wouldn't think there was a winter storm in the southeast, but let me tell you, this is unbelievable here. Deep tropical moisture from the Caribbean, which is very nice, by the way. I know a lot of you wrote in and say, hey, uh, it's cold, it's cloudy in the United States. I want to get the heck out of here and check out the Caribbean. Some nice weather in the Caribbean. Big high pressure overhead. You couldn't ask for better conditions, but all the tropical moisture from that high pressure is sneaking up and around and coming into the United States right now. And you can see on the tail end of this thing, there's just a trail of moisture going all the way back into the central Gulf. Now, there is a disturbance which is pulled out of Texas. This will help lift this out of the Florida Panhandle and up into Georgia, and then it will stall out. But there's another one behind that that should redevelop this moisture in this area. So a couple of days of some very, very heavy rainfall across the southeast. How much rainfall? Well, we'll show you how much they got, and we'll show you how much they're going to get. Here's the front now. It's just kind of draped like garland, if you will, around the Christmas tree. Unfortunately, this is just kind of hung across the southeast today, and it's going to remain that way. To the north, a little light snow breaking out, but this is the case here. This is the kicker. The big high pressure, the Arctic high, is going to be building in, and we're talking about forecast problems with sleet and snow in the northeast. Out west, a break today for Southern California, eventually Arizona. Some snow for Seattle, Salt Lake, eventually into Denver as well talk about some big cities and some forecast problems we've got them look at the rain they've had in the past 24 hours in Tallahassee plenty and more to come it's still raining there Columbia South Carolina Valdosta Georgia Macon Georgia Atlanta even Phoenix plenty of rain and even some of the totals uh, not showing up here in Arizona have been as much as two to four inches in some of the hilly terrain north and west of Phoenix so that's what we're expecting uh, to continue an inch plus on our scale the heavier rains in the southeastern part of the country flash flood watches out for the southwest heavy mountain snows in through here and snow streaking out into Texas now your local forecast accurate and dependable from the weather channel Folks, if you have plans for the weekend, it's going to be a wet one across a good majority of the nation, starting out with temperatures first, then we'll get to the precipitation. Cold across the north. What else is new? It seems like you're always uh, in the icebox up here, a little bit colder than normal across uh, that part of the country tomorrow morning. Warm in the south, and the temperatures are going to warm up slightly across uh, the Midwest and then cool down again, but we'll take you right on through Monday. Temperatures still very mild across the south. That's not going to be too much of a story. The big story is going to be the precipitation as it heads across the central part of the nation. Mixture of rain, freezing rain, and drizzle, Amarillo, possibly one to two inches of snow accumulations by tomorrow. Light rain and light uh, showers and thunderstorms, I should say, across the deep south. Continuing on into Sunday, the first storm moving into the eastern part of the country with a mixture of rain and precipitation along with it. Then the second storm coming on down, more mountain snow with more rain for California right on through Monday. When Jeffrey catches a cold, we see the pediatrician. I love my pediatrician. He's my dad. We have a live-in doc.